Okay, it seems better. Okay, I think we're safe now. Let me just redo my whole intro for the edit real quick. Welcome every... Uh, what is up, everybody? Nathan Sample here, and welcome to this lovely new live stream on The Elder Scrolls Blades. This game was very recently released, and I've never really, like, been into mobile games. And this is a mobile game, but I figured I'd give it a little shot, to be honest. Bethesda Game Studios. For centuries, the Blades protected the Dragonborn Emperors, an elite group of fighters. They commanded fear. And, and respect. No. What is up, Zach? How you feeling, my dude? I'm doing wonderful. Did you know that you can buy burgers from the store? I had no idea. I was selling right at the store. You want to hear how my stream just started? It's going to be cut out for the edit, but um, I just Did it start with a song. No, it started off literally with my audio from my television crackling like crazy. That sounds awesome. It was so I, weird. I could watch three hours of that. Dude, it was freaking me out because I've I've had this TV give me audio issues before, but it's never been like in my ears, and I know the viewers heard it too. Well, that's okay. They appreciate it. Yeah, they they appreciate it when their freaking ears are destroyed. Yes. Okay, I need to log into Bethesda Net. Already, we're we're off to a wonderful start. What the hell is my I've Bethesda? Never met him. The hell is my Bethesda Net account? Let me log into. I think it's a name. Yeah, let me log into Doom because literally Doom is where my Bethesda Net account is saved on the Switch. Hey, this is Doom is cool. Yeah, Doom is pretty dope. Doom's like, you know, <laughs> pretty cool. Yeah, man. Only pretty cool though. Like, like thoughts are temporary, but Doom <laughs> is forever. You know. I don't entirely disagree with you on that. Yeah, that's okay. A good thing. okay, I know my Bethesda Net login now. Because they had this weird ass DRM on all the stuff that they do on the Switch. But what yeah, have you been up to today? I've been sitting in my chair. Well, that's <laughs> that's a good start. I've been uh fiddling with the channel a lot lately. I've been uh. I decided to stop doing reruns as much as I was and instead do them when I can't stream. And I've opened up VODs other than sub only for, for everyone. The blades protected the dragonborn emperors. Okay, I would like to skip this cutscene that I've already watched, please, game. So what have you... Skip the cutscenes. It literally won't let me. I'm sitting here, like, tapping every button. And the game's like, no, 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 you need to watch this. This is important to watch every time you open the game. No, you shouldn't do that. I don't know why I'm cutting to this right now anyways. I'm going to have to cut away whenever I log back into my Bethesda net account so I don't share my bloody info. Yeah. So have you been playing with your arcade stick lately? Yeah, I, I turn it on every once in a while. <laughs> every once and in a blue moon. Some, <laughs> and I'll play a game for like 15 minutes, then I'll be like, alright, that was fun. I do that sometimes on the Switch. I probably turn my Switch on like 15 times a day or something, and play it for five seconds. That's that's kind of what I do with the arcade cabinet. Like you, Arcade games aren't very long. Yeah. You know? Like, they're not long games, so... Even though my arcade cabinet is like basically a big emulator that plays hundreds of thousands of games. So I could play PlayStation games and stuff on there if I wanted. But yeah. I'd really just stick to MAME and arcade games. And uh, so like you'll you'll turn on the arcade cabinet and you'll be like, all right, well, what do I want to play? And then you go, all right, let's play Mega Man. And then Mega Man's only four levels. Mega Man. <laughs> you know, <laughs> yeah, the arcade version's only four levels. So you do all Wait, four Wait, there's an arcade level. Mega Man? There's like eight of them. Yeah. <laughs> like actual arcade game? Yeah, yeah, like actual arcade Mega Man. I didn't know that even existed. Yeah, yeah. They released them in Japan first, and then they 
brought them over here to America. And I mean, they it's a pretty good. There's a bunch of them. They're really, really good. But uh, so I'm gonna have to like change my level. password for my bloody Bethesda Net account right now on the air. That's fine. Yeah, it's really dope. Yeah, there's dude. only like there's only like four levels on on what the game. What the game, freak is even you know? going on? Okay. So it's like, oh, okay. So if you've only got four levels, you play the four levels, and then you, you beat the game, and you're like, all right, well, what do I do now? <laughs> See, I'm not very good at the original Mega Man anyways. Well, it doesn't matter. It's an arcade, so, like, nobody's good at it because you have an is, arcade Is there, stick. like, a way for me to play this game without logging into Bethesda Net, or is it going to force me to do this? You mean, like, Doom or just No, game? Elder Scrolls Blades. It wants me to log in. Oh, see, I don't play Elder Scrolls Blades. I'm oh, trying it out for the first time because it was just ported to the Switch, and it's like, you need to log in real quick because we have DRM. It's like, this is like a streamer's nightmare. You have audio issues than this. Microphone. Okay, okay, it booted up. It booted up. Thank God. What's up? Oh, I'm on the wrong microphone. There we go. Do I the, sound different? Uh, Yeah, you sound a little uh, closer now, I believe. Closer? Good, yeah, because I'm using the the headset microphone as opposed to this big one in front of me. I was like, something don't seem right. Dude, the movement in this is so weird and jittery right now. Do you have the stream open? No. Okay, I know I have a defective switch controller that has screwed up analog sticks, but this is like so unresponsive and jittery when you're opening it. I think the environments are beautiful though. Oh god. Oh, wow. This is, uh... I don't know about this one. Oh. It's a game, all right. I, I mean, the environments game. for a mobile game are really pretty, but the movement is, like... I don't know what the Bully. hell they, they're doing. It's a good game. Bully's a good game. I actually have that on the shelf over there. Yeah, it's a good game. Oh, my God. What is happening? I played it yesterday. <laughs> this is such a train wreck. Um, I played Bully yesterday. It was a lot of fun. Yeah. Beat the whole Look sensitivity. Literally all the way up, please. You oh my like god, that is so... Like it oh, it's day, almost so much better. Just beat it in a day. What? You ever just grab a game and just say, I'm just going to beat this game today, and you just beat it, and then that's it? Yeah, I've done that several times. Um, As a kid, my parents used to get really mad at me because they'd buy me games, and I would beat them in literally one day. Well, no, I didn't do that, like, for when people would buy me games, I would, you know, pretend that I, I would keep playing it day after day, just yeah. so, like, nobody would get, because I, I never wanted them to think that, like, oh, you know, I gotta, <laughs> they gotta buy me another one, like, tomorrow, you know? I, I mean, like, I could say that, but my parents wouldn't do it. What's up, Jacob? How you feeling? Do what? Uh, I said, what's up, Jacob, in the, the text chat. Uh oh. I, you know, I'm starting to feel like this game was designed for the Joy-Cons, perhaps? <laughs> I, 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 I think that's what's going on, maybe, because it's, it's freaking weird to control. Like, the controller yeah. that I'm using is not totally functional, but this is weird. Like, it freaking jitters all over the place, and it's... Oh, uh, hello, friend. Mr. Orc. Mr. Orc, man. Bring me a dream. All I do now is just kind of sit here, and if I'm not playing Twitch things, which is basically most of my day anymore, is playing this game and looking at CGN. Yeah. Jacob says I'm good. What about YouTube? Gotcha. You just got to get used to it. Ah, I feel you. I feel you, man. Um, Do you think... Uh, gotcha, since I assume that you're into this game, do you think I should use the Joy-Cons? Because this is what I'm using right now. Yes, yeah, so you should use the Joy-Cons. Uh, is that an actual suggestion, or are you memeing right now? Yes. No, okay. that's an actual suggestion. Okay. Your town refused yeah, you to should. pay taxes to the queen. We're here to collect. So you, so yeah. you set fire to my town, question mark? No Joy-Cons. Yeah, okay. you didn't pay no taxes. That's what you get <laughs> for not paying your taxes. <laughs> No, I don't that's know how, how that works. happened. Must if have been an accident. Taxes, we burn your house down. Yeah, I mean that's that's <laughs> that's how the American <laughs> justice system works, right? 
Basically, yeah. <laughs> Dude, the other day I was playing Fortnite on stream. Well, it was Fortnite Friday, and I freaking... <laughs> I don't remember what I said, but I was like, dude, this game is America in two years. Like, I don't know why something about that joke entertained myself. Do you really think she listens to the likes of me? Can I? Man, America's funny right now with the whole pandemic and stuff. Dude, you know what? This morning I went on the first walk that I've been on in years. In years. What the hell is wrong? In months. Did you open back up yet or no? It's in phase one. Like restaurants okay. and churches are open. I walked yeah, by well, a church down the road, and I, it's not the church I attend, but I swear I sat there like, what if I just like went there? Because I don't have a ride to mine today. What if I just like sat in? Right. And I thought they about it. Care. You look very familiar. Aren't you like they would never care. Oh, yeah, they wouldn't not. care, but it's like, <laughs> it, it would feel weird to me, I guess is what I mean, because it would be like, Oh, oh, I get to design my character. See, see, for us Catholics, that doesn't, that never happens because the Catholic Church is universal. So every church you go to is exactly the same. Is that tr actually true? Yeah. Yeah. That's why it's called, that's Catholic uh, stands for, it means universal. Oh, yeah. It, every. It does, <laughs> doesn't it? Uh, yeah, what race so, should I be, uh, folks in chat? You can cheat on your church. Well, no, I was the reason why I didn't want to do it was because I I didn't know there's like old people churches. Not to sound rude, old no, people. I get what you're saying. Yeah, there's like old people churches in this churches that kind of fit my vibe better. Where they're like they have the rock band going and people are chilled yeah. out. No, I get that. Like I my, I blew my wife's mind like because she she was Baptist. And uh, she'd always went to the same church her whole life. Yeah. And I was like, come to church with me. So we went to church, and then we went to Florida like two weeks later, and I'm like, all right, let's go to church. And she's like, we're just going to go to a random church. I'm like, it's going to be exactly the same. So, yeah. And she was like, holy shit, it's exactly the same. I'm like, yeah, there always are. That's We literally get, you know, yeah. all of our stuff. <laughs> and, and they all do the same thing every week. They follow a schedule. Like, that's how it works. <laughs> what is a Breton? I don't remember that one from Skyrim. He's, they're, they're Bretons, man. Yeah, they're man. Like you know. People. I guess I'm gonna be an Imperial or a Nord. They're like, they're like British people, but not. I'm gonna be a Nord, I think. Yeah, you can be a Nord. They're yeah. like Skyrim's people. Let's see. Uh, how tall should I make my character? Should I make him a little seven tiny foot, man or a seven. big guy? Huh? Seven foot seven. All right, as tall as possible. Fat or skinny? Uh, skinny. As far as I know, some pastors. Yeah, that's that's my uh, that's what I mean. You said skinny. Okay, should yeah. he be a uh, super pale or uh, we make him a a black dude or what should we make him? He should be everything. Okay. Yeah, green. <laughs> green. I can make him a, an uncomfortable yellow color. No, make him green. Okay. Yellow makes him look like a Simpsons character, and then it's like. Well, no. I mean, I don't know why they just literally have a skin color that's like an inhuman yellow. Yeah, no, he's got to be green. Green, so everyone thinks he's an alien. But the problem is, nobody thinks he's an alien because nobody looks at you anyway in that game. <laughs> True. Okay. That's my favorite thing about these about video games. You make a character, and your guy can be the ugliest guy ever. And no one cares. Yeah. Like, no one thinks they don't look at him or see any of the work you've put into that character. Dude, my Skyrim character from my series I was doing was a freaking nightmare. I think they should make they make it like if you make your character ugly, that people will react to him being. Really I ugly. wish they would do that. That would be such wouldn't good that game be, design. That be so cool. Like if you were playing like you know, Saints Row or something, and you made the ugliest fucking character ever, and they everybody on the streets were just like, good God, you're... <laughs> like, I would love that so much. I'm going to give him a weird long ponytail. Uh, his hairs can... His hairs, each individual hair can be a different color. Yeah, I, like, just mess with everything. We, we, oh, we're making Steven Seagal. That's what we're doing. Yeah, make Steven Seagal. Hell yeah, yeah. Steven Seagal, it is gonna have to make him fatter too. again uh make yeah, his skin make color make him a little bit you pink him, you gotta make him tall and fat and yeah that's gotta, that's what i did i'm gonna make his sunglasses. skin color kind of pinkish 
<laughs> yeah, yeah all this... sure he's wearing clothes that don't really fit. Like they're too small. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What color? Uh, how far apart should I make Steven Seagal's eyes? Should I make him like a? His his eyes are pretty far apart. Okay, so he's kind of got a Neanderthal head going on. He's got that. He's got that. Well, he he kind of does that. He his eyes are far apart, but he squints all the time. All right, chat. What color is Steven Seagal's eyes? How often do you guys they're try black. to make characters look like you? They're never. Black. I mean, they're brown. But, <laughs> they're black. You know, they're, 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 <laughs> he, Steven Seagal has black soulless eyes. I mean, no, they're brown <laughs> eyes, but he <laughs> he squints all the time, so you never see him because he's always constantly squinting. Yeah, I feel like that was an action hero thing back in the day, though. No, that's just Steven Seagal. Well, I mean, didn't uh, <laughs> uh, what what the hell's his name? Western boy used to <laughs> Western boy used to do that. Western boy. Yeah, well, <laughs> everyone's favorite action hero, Western boy Clint Eastwood. <laughs> oh, that guy. How fat yeah, are Steven Seagal's lips? Does he have them fat, uh, No, pee -pee? he's got really thin lips. Okay, he didn't have them dick-sucking lips going? No, he's got really thin lips, and he's got a really big forehead because he puts it all back in a ponytail. Yeah, um, okay, that's and as thin... Black. Okay, and does you gotta he... talk about how good you are at, like, karate. You gotta <laughs> say that all the time. Okay, uh, does he wear war paint? <laughs> no. From what I know, he actually is very good at uh, some form of martial arts. I don't know which it is. He's a black belt, yeah. Yeah. He's he's a, he's a big moist boy. That Steven Seagal he is. He's a black belt at a martial arts that nobody uses. So. <laughs> well, what's the martial art where you, like, cr you clink a couple sticks together? <laughs> well, I don't know. You know but, what I'm talking uh, he, about? It's the one where you use uh, kendo, I think. Okay, this is as close to Steven Seagal as I can get right here. So, I mean, he, he has a black belt in Aikido, but the problem is is that nobody fucking uses Aikido because Aikido was developed for Japanese soldiers to fight off guys running around with, like, samurai swords. All right, uh, Zach, are you at your computer them. right now? Yeah. Open up Google yeah, and t I'm tell me how computer. to spell Seagal. Well, I thought you were on your phone for a sec. I yeah. forgot you are using your headset. Tell me how to spell Seagal, because I'm not going to even try. C-S-E-A-G-A-L. Is that, is, that, is that actually true? That's 100% true, yeah. C what? S-E-A-G-A. S-E-A, as in C, and then Gaul, G-A-L. Okay, so it's Seagal without the A. No, there's an A. S-E-A-G-A-L. Oh, it's Steven Seagal, then. Yeah, Seagal, but it's Seagal. Really? <laughs> I mean, that's how he says it, so, yeah. That's really his name? I mean, that is his name, yes. I have to Google this. Mm -hmm. I have to tell the world that his name is Steven Siegel. <laughs> he knows. <laughs> All right, okay. That's not how you spell Siegel, though. Siri, you dumb whore, look up Steven Seagal. It's not, it's not Siegel. That's though. not nice. S-E-A-G-A-L. Look up Steven Seagal. Here's what I found. Oh my god, it's Steven Siegel. Yeah. You weren't just joshing me. No, serious. I'm so... Oh my god. My world is not the same as it was before the stream started now. That's that's how he spells it. It's you. Steven Seagal. Okay, but of course it's you... I'm dripping the, upon ye. The, the world's, <laughs> world's greatest actor. Okay, right there. okay, Zach. You know what the game says on the screen right now? They probably say, "Hey, you can't be Steven Seagal. He's too." Strong. He says, "Juni." His name is Junius the Elder. He says, "You're little Steven Seagal." Yeah, he is. No one's called me little in a very long time. Is my only dialogue choice. <laughs> that that's probably true. <laughs> <laughs> It's that is a hundred percent something Steven Seagal would say. It's been so long. Some were convinced you were dead. I I mean that's what yeah. he does every. That that's what people like say. Steven Seagal. That's what yes. people say every time he has a film role. Pretty much. Wait, Steven Seagal's not dead. <laughs> <laughs> what? Which dialogue should I choose? I joined the Imperial Legion, or I went looking for adventure. Which is more Steven Seagal I mean, to either you? Either one sounds like Steven Seagal. He would totally tell some like. I could see him on E 
and they're interviewing him and he'll be like i joined the imperial legion okay and they'll be like that's what or him saying like i'm going on an adventure that's what i chose does that anyway i chose the imperial one with all this fighting i imagine you must have seen some terrible things (laughs) yes steven seagal has seen terrible things (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> with all this fighting, I imagine seen some done even worse is the choice I'm going with. Oh yeah, he's done way worse. Yeah, <laughs> Steven Seagal has seen things that would make a man weep in the night. Oh, okay, this game may become a mainstay on the channel if this keeps going. War can make monsters of the best of us. Redemption can be a long, torturous road. In any I mean, case, it it's good that you're back. like Steven Seagal. <laughs> this is Steven Seagal's life, everyone. This is basically Steven Seagal simulator. I mean, this is... <laughs> Steven this Seagal is, is, is every Skyrim hero. He is the Dragonborn. Yeah. And he would tell you that, too. He'd probably be like, hey, yes, I am the Dragonborn. In any case, it's good you're back. We need you in a time like this. Steven Seagal Absolutely. will save us from COVID, everyone. They need Steven Seagal in a time like this. <laughs> I'm sure you have a lot of questions for old Junius. What happened here? The Bloodfall Queen sent mercenaries to collect taxes from the townsfolk. Things escalated, and one of the men boring. smashed the ancient statue of the town's founder. What was that? God, this lore is boring. I mean, There's I'm like enjoying it because it involves Steven Seagal. That's Quick question, who is Steven Seagal? He is a terrible terrible chuck norris level action star yes he's a guy that runs with a gun above his head pretty much <laughs> is that a real <laughs> thing he did in a movie yeah he t- every, if you watch any steven seagal movie where he's shooting a gun he doesn't run with a gun in front of him he runs with the gun above his head like he holds it above his head and it's like what are so you he doing? does like uh, do you have the stream up and he does like this sort of thing yes exactly like oh that. my god yeah, <laughs> Steven like, Seagal. You, Let's all cancel it's Steven like you can't Seagal. Shoot a gun like that, you big dummy. But he doesn't. <laughs> I wish he went to shoot the gun and the butt just smashed him in the jaw. Well, it just hit him right in the face <laughs> or the top of the head. You know? he, he he gets an imprint on his forehead from all his action movies. Because he holds it. I mean, he holds it like way up here, and it's like, what are you doing? <laughs> I do like, like you how you're saying you're he holds it way like up the, here, as if I can see you right now. Right. Well, I'm just meaning like he yeah. holds it like he holds it the way I I showed, right? The butt of the gun is like eye level. How do like, you even aim like that? That's what I'm saying. He's not aiming. There's just it's just it's even South Park made fun of it, like having him hold the gun way above his head. At that point, all oblivion, all oblivion broke loose. We heard thunder, yeah. though the sky was clear, and green fire erupted from where the statue stood. I mean, I could see that, yeah. All yeah, this is all what happens because. when someone messes with Steven Seagal's mansion. <laughs> this is why he needs another... This is why he needs another movie. This is what happens when someone messes with Steven Seagal's trailer, his, his double wide. Hey, I'm Steven Seagal. <laughs> I'm going to show you how to do things. Oh, I hope Steven Seagal lives in a double wide. I mean, he, he doesn't. I mean, well, he kind of does when he's on stage, you know? Or no, 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 no. He studio. has to live in a double wide in my mind. He doesn't. He lives in a really big mansion. I, d- d- do you think he's good with his money? Is he? Oh, yeah. No, he's doing well with his money. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I guess, I guess we know who he is, even though he's a big dork, so. I mean, he's a big dork, but he makes a lot of money. He's a big dork who could kick both of our asses, probably. Well, I mean, he's way bigger than me, so absolutely. <laughs> uh, how tall is he? He's maybe like... He's like six, seven, or something. He's a giant. Okay, guy. so he's like my brother's height. I was going to be like... Uh, he's, uh, he's, he looks... Like, on screen, he looks my height to me. No, like, I'm a, six one. Big dude. He's six four. so he's a big dude. How tall is the president? Isn't the president super tall? I mean, he's like six two. yeah. Okay. The flames spread but uncontrollably, I mean, and like most Steven, of the town was Steven destroyed. Steven Seagal is a big guy, and not only is he a big guy, I mean, he's a big, fat guy, too. <laughs> like, I can't diss him for that, because I am the same. I mean, like, he's he's six foot four, and he probably weighs 350 pounds, I mean. Yeah. Rumor has it some townsfolk took refuge in the abandoned High Winter Castle. Goblins have been seen in that area. 
Wait, how tall are you? I'm six one. Um, goblins have been seen in that area. I feel I fear for our people who have been made prisoner or worse. Please, you may be the only one here with any chance of bringing them home. I'll be back. Here, take some healing potions. They're more useful to you than they are me. <laughs> Best of luck, Steven Seagal. Okay, press start. Go to those thick daddy quest. Start. But yeah, I mean, Steve, Steven Seagal is just... He's out there, man. Uh, yeah. Like, he's way out there. Jacob just, says, "Oh yeah, head. that's fine. Yeah, you know, like when he when he used to tell people he was a Navy Seal. Wait, did he? he was like, I was, was he actually a Navy Seal or was he just no, lying? He was not a Navy Seal. No. What? Why would you lie about that? Especially because if you're a public Seagal, figure. He, every time they get him on E, I mean, his interviews are the greatest. He just says something that's just brand new, and you're like, what are you talking about?'" <laughs> Oh like God! He, he said, you know, he got uh, blessed by like some Shaolin monk recently, and now he's part of some thing. And I'm just like, I don't care. <laughs> I don't believe you know? that, but well, I believe no, he I mean, could he have probably, been blessed by a monk since he is a martial he artist was boy. Blessed by some Shaolin monk, and because he's a Aikido black belt, but he's also 300 pounds, and you know, like he <laughs> he's just a big fat guy. That's all he is. <laughs> You know, I can't really disagree with you, though I am a big fat guy myself, so I can't diss him for that. Like, all the time. What is, oh, that's just fire. Oh my god, dude, the movement in this game is so weird and choppy. I mean, when he was younger, he had some decent movies, but every single one of them was just like, oh. I, I feel the same way about Chuck Norris. He sounds like See, Chuck he Norris, could... though, on the other hand, actually fought. Yeah, That's I'll the, I'll I'll say that much. Chuck Norris is a strong boy. I would trust him to to repair the shingles on my roof. You know, like he actually he actually used to fight. He was like a Jean Claude Van Damme. I, I think like he, he still technically did. does, but not no, the same way he used he's to. Old as shit. Huh? <laughs> he don't fight anymore. He's eighty years old. Well, he's like yeah, he's like seventy eight or seventy nine. But no, I, he's eighty. He's dude, you know 80. William Shatner's eighty eight, by the way. Yeah, he's old, old. Oh my god, I was watching an interview with him from like six years ago on Larry King, and he was talking about being eighty five or eighty six or some crap. I'm like Jesus, but William yeah, Shatner. I hope he's because okay. his birthday was March tenth. Uh, uh, Chuck Norris. Yeah, because mine's March 13th, and his is March 10th. How old is uh, John claude Van Damme, then? Uh, I don't know. He he looks older than Chuck Norris. He's 59. Yeah, Chuck Norris aged really well, because that's that's why I'm convinced he fu he still fights to some degree. Yeah, you know who didn't age very well? Dolph Lundgren. Who the is guy that? Who played, he's the guy who played oh. the, guy, the Russian from Rocky. Oh yeah, didn't he play in a He-Man the or the Masters of the Universe movie as well? I don't know, but I just know that like he he did not age very well. Like he was really young then and just Does he look like a meth head now? Mm, I mean he looks like an older dude. Okay, so he he, he aged like a normal person as opposed to a celebrity. I mean he, he aged better than Sylvester Stallone, I guess. I feel like Sylvester Stallone didn't age too bad, to be honest. Daniel Man, Craig maybe. James Bond looks old as shit, too, and he's not that old, is he, either? He sounds like he would accidentally join a cult, says Jacob, about Steven Seagal. Steven Seagal? Steven Seagal's in a cult. Is he? Yeah. <laughs> is that That's actually he's, true? Yeah, he's like in in a cult. That's how he keeps getting involved with all these governments. That's how he keeps uh, staying young forever. No. <laughs> he, he keeps getting involved with all these like random governments. Is that like right now he's uh what, what was he? He's uh let me let me see what they got here cuz I was going to say just, it was just recently he got like something from Vladimir Putin for no reason. Mm, spooky. Oh, yeah, he's known for his outspoken political views and support of that Vladimir Putin. And then they gave him they gave him Russian citizenship in 2017. And then he was appointed Russia's special envoy to the United States. Special what? Envoy. 
Is that like what Dennis Rodman is for North Korea? Yeah, basically. He's yeah. like 40, He's but he looks 60. I think that's. Li- I think he looks his age, but he has like gray hair, and that makes him. Other than that, you know, like it makes him Don't look a bit old. Steven Seagal also thought he was going to be a musician at one point too. He released a whole I, album with Stevie Wonder and other people. I mean, so did so. William Shatner. To be fair, okay, I see what's wrong with the turning. It turns fine when you're standing still. But when you're walking, it's choppy as hell in this game, it seems. Or, no? no, like, uh, Maybe? Like, it's it's some of the craziest. Steven Seagal, he's like, there's a whole just crazy nonsense behind him. Yeah, that sounds fascinating and terrifying at the same time. He was a police officer, though. Was it, was he like a police officer or like a no just a just a normal police officer? Never mind, he's fifty two. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, he's a he's just a normal police officer. He's a he's apparently Buddhist though. I, I mean, so I can he, see that. He, Wasn't he Steve Jobs the, also Buddhist? He got blessed by the Dalai Lama. I remember that. Can I just say Dalai Lama? Like the name so- always sounds so strange to me. For some oh, yeah, reason, no. huh? This, yeah, no, he's he's crazy. Yeah, in all honesty. The the Dalai Lama or Steven Seagal? Both. They're both crazy. Both. I mean, I feel like the Pope's a little crazy himself, to be honest. I mean, don't get me wrong. Yeah, the Pope's crazy. Dalai Lama's crazy. Uh, as a Protestant, every time I see people like kiss the Pope's ring or something, it freaks me out. Because like, in in Protestant. Christianity, we don't like view other like our pastors and our leaders that way. We just see them as like dudes that we look up to who we think are neat. Who we th- yeah, we see we feel like God appointed them, if that makes sense. Yeah, just like the Pope. Yeah, but we don't kiss our pastor's rings or anything. That's what freaks me out. That's an Italian thing, man. Is that an actual thing that only Italian people do? No, it's just kind of how it started, you know? That's Italian people for you. Okay, because I thought it was just a religious thing. They kiss each other's hands. They kiss each other's hands, kiss each other's feet, kiss each other's peepees. I mean, maybe. (laughs) (laughs) I'm sure some Italians do. I mean, that's a, it's a, it's their culture, you know? Yeah. And it (laughs) just kind of stemmed from that, and it keeps going, you know? I'm just bitch slapping this orc over and over again. Dude, like Steven really, Seagal just leveled up, I think, or he's about to. Like, like when the Pope comes to America, people don't really do that, you know? Okay, so it's just a cultural thing. Hey, lads, what's yeah. up, yo-yo? How you feeling, my dude? But then then again, when the Pope comes to America, it's it's a way different atmosphere, you know? Yeah. Like the one time he went to Boston, which is not the place he probably should have went. Why would he but, go to Boston, of all places? Because there's a lot of Irish Catholics in Boston. Okay. You got all those Irish Catholic boys up there. Yeah. The problem is, I'm not sure if you know about Boston, but people aren't real nice in Boston. Uh, I I didn't, (laughs) I never lived in Boston, but I lived in like upstate New York as a kid. And like, even though we were nowhere near, well, we were near New York City, we were like a hundred miles away. But even though we weren't in New York City, people there were like much more rude than in Texas. (laughs) <laughs> so yeah. my baseline is just anyone in those states are kind of rude. Not yeah, beca- I mean, not because they're jerks either, just because I think it's the culture is really different. In yeah, Texas, oh, it is, yeah. Yeah. Like in Texas, there we're not as packed in and there's just not as much uh you don't have to be as assertive. You just say like you can politely ask someone to get out of your way or something like excuse right. me. But you do that you do that in Boston and people are going to freak out you know? yeah you can politely be like excuse me and they're they're like yeah again, whatever they also don't think of that type of engagement as bad neither yeah like the, you know fuck you get out of my way type they don't even see it as a bad thing yeah well you're gonna piss somebody off down here and get shot <laughs> yeah you'll get your ass kicked down here or you'll get <laughs> shot well that you know it doesn't happen up there yeah it's not really a thing there okay we got a spooky orc here. You know, I kind of like this game, even though the movement is just the worst. I'm actually, it's its not bad for something that's supposed to be a mobile game. Like a ported mobile game. If only, 
Like, is this a problem with my left analog stick, I wonder? I still haven't played it, because I just, I don't want to play a mobile game. <laughs> well, it's on Switch now, if you have one of those. I do, but I don't... You can, I, I mean, mean what I'm doing it? here, the point of this stream is trying it. The Italians be kissing peepees, ask yo, yo yes. Depends on who you ask, says Jacob. That's also true. There are nice people in every state who see oh, things no. differently. Yeah, don't, don't get me wrong. There's nice people all over the place. Yeah, like, I'm not prejudiced against anyone. I'm just saying, like, in general, as a whole, people in those states are way more assertive and rude. Oh, yeah, you can see it. I mean, even, like, so I play Twitch Sings, right? Mm -hmm. And I'll join these parties, and a bunch of times, like, you get the East Coast people, and yeah. they're just, oh, rude as can be. And you're like, why are you so <laughs> Why are you mean? like but this? They don't, but they don't mean it. You know? Yeah. Like, they don't mean anything they say. They'll just... They don't mean it the way that you feel it, I would say. Yeah, exactly. I mean, they're ribbing you, in a way. Like, they're just... They're just putting you down, but they don't mean that they're... They're, they're screwing you with you, basically. Yeah, exactly. We, take care of the town itself. we should start with the town hall right here. It can serve as a shelter until more houses are built are rebuilt. I looked up Elder Scrolls Blades. Elder Scrolls yep. Blades. Ready to rebuild the town hall? Just tell me what to do. As it happens, you found enough lumber when you rescued those townsfolk. So do you actually get to walk around here? I should just watch your stream. Where you do you? get to walk around, but it's like you walk around in like specific dungeons. It's not as open world. And uh, so far, my experience has been that the graphics are pretty nice and the movement is ass. Specifically is it, turning. Is it just Nathan Sample? Uh, it's Nathan Sample Games. Uh, we have some limestone and copper left, too. All together? Yes. All right, here we go. Yeah, here we go. Now I got a new, new thick little quest. Uh, or maybe, oh, I no, guess... Minecraft. I'm not playing Minecraft. Does it have me listed no, as it's playing? A, it's a commercial. No. Okay, I thought, I was like, did I, <laughs> did I meet, miss do this? Like, look, right now the movement's smooth, but then it's going like, uh, and oh, freaking yeah, you out. Oh, you get to walk around. Yeah, but like it, the movement, the turning specifically goes back and forth between being perfectly fine and being jittery and weird. So is it very similar to like Skyrim and stuff? It's Hard like problem. Skyrim if it was on like the PSP, I guess. I don't... It's like scaled down Elder Scrolls, I'll say. Is it canon? I don't know. Movement, yeah, the movement's super choppy right now. What should I name the town, Zach? Uh, well, it says Rivercrest. I saw that. Uh, but, uh, or anyone in chat, if anyone has a suggestion, should, let me know. I have no clue what you should name it. I named a. I was playing Planet Coaster, and I named a theme park, and I named it City, because I had no fucking clue. What Dude, it was. I miss playing Roller Coaster Tycoon. You should name it. You should name it Big Mountain Town. I'm gonna name it Assland. Mondo Mountain. Or, you know, at Bootyville. Mondo Mountain. I can do that. <laughs> I can call it Mondo Mountain. I stole that from Rocket Power. I know. Mon Mondo Mountain. I didn't, I didn't know that that was specifically what it was called, but I went, the moment you said that, I'm like, that sounds like Rocket Power. Yeah. Mondo Mountain. <laughs> Dude, I hated Rocket Power so much they as a kid. Could, they could never fucking find Mondo Mountain, even though it's a fucking mountain. <laughs> it's like Candy it's like Island in a uh, Flapjack. It's like you can't be that fucking dumb, can you, kids? Like, you remember uh, mountain. Flapjack? They had a Candy Mountain that they were hunting for. Like that was the goal yeah, of the show. They could never find a fucking mountain. Like, how do you miss a mountain? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's just how life works sometimes, you know. No. <laughs> so we're rebuilding a town in this game thus far. I see this. You're... So is that what you do? You're kind of like building up your own little town? And... That's my understanding. See, Steven Seagal is the mayor of this town, I guess. God, that sounds terrible. <laughs> uh, it can't be any no. worse than Kane from the WWE being a mayor. Oh, you know what? That, don't even get me started on that. Like, I hear, I hear him all the time because I'm not that far from his area of Knoxville. Yeah. And I'm just like, fuck you. <laughs> I'm like, you're, you're gonna get people hurt. <laughs> like, what, what bad like, decisions does he make? 
So they were the first. Still. They were the first town to open back up. Really? All the uh, yeah, they were the very first town to open back up when all this COVID first started. The very first. And the thing is, he opened up their town. Only five percent of people left their homes after he opened it up. <laughs> they know he's a dumbass, apparently. Oh yeah, they were like, yeah, no, we're not going out, dude. And yeah. he was like, all the stores are open, everything's open. And it's like, no, yeah, we we understand that they're open, but like, we're not going out. Yeah. Yo-Yo says, well, Candy Island was in the middle of a giant ocean. That's fair, but... That's a true point. Candy yeah. Island was out in the middle of nowhere. It's like, true, but you'd imagine there'd be some kind of, like, discovery of it in, a, in an economy that is entirely based on candy. You'd imagine there would be some sort of person who had already found it by then, you know? Like... I mean, maybe. But it's, maybe it's before they found it. See, I can understand that. I can't understand mondo mountain from rocket power the fact that nobody fucking knows where it is yet there's this you can take a bus to it like what is that you can take a shortcut like we gotta find a shortcut to mondo mountain <laughs> but somebody's already drawn like a bike path i totally there. stole like, that reference by the way from oni plays they talked about that although i guess you can't really steal a reference to a show well, I mean, I just found it odd. Like the once they when they finally make it to Mondo Mountain, like Lars has to show them how to get there. And yeah. it's like, can't you just ask your fucking parents to take you? Like, why do you? Yeah. Can you explain you to me to... what that is? Is that just a skate park or something? No, it's a mountain. It's a literal L a mountain. literal mountain. Yes, that's what I'm saying. Like, uh, in a show about skating, because they're they're doing they're skating down the mountain. Like, what? That sounds like, like they're gonna kill themselves. It's it's you know those dirt boards that you can have, you know, like I, mountain boards. Yeah, they're I believe so. Board. Yeah, so they're oh they, god. The whole point was that they were gonna go up there and mountain board down the mountain, but they could never find the mountain. This is like it's the like, Elder Scrolls meets Punch mountain. Out right now, by the way. Yeah, that looks like a lot like Punch Out. Wait, are you having to like stand there and dodge? You can't like move. Uh, I can put up my shield, but I'm still getting used to the garbage controls, and now my character's yeah, just locked up. There it is. Okay. That is hilarious. At first, I was thinking you were just standing there swinging at him, and I was like, just move. No, but no, move. like, my, my character literally locked up for a second there as well, where I could move. That is hilarious. Am I selling you well on this game this far? <laughs> I mean, it looks cool, but I... It... 100% looks like a mobile game, yeah. yeah uh, I think it looks okay graphically. I think, like... No, graphic-wise, it's, it's... I think gameplay-wise, yes. Definitely a mobile game. Gameplay-wise, I'm going, that's a that's a mobile game. Yep. Like, even you can see the little bars pop up on the side, like the HUD, the heads-up display. Yeah. And you're like, that's a, that's, a, that's a mobile game. Yeah. That's the thing about porting a lot of mobile games. The most epic mountain of all time. Hi, what is up, Frank? How you doing, my dude? You gotten yeah, we, any new people pregnant this week? It's the it's the most epic mountain ever. The one that you have to find. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you know, it's just how things work, dude, you know? Like, sometimes you have to find giant structures. I just did... I, so, I mean, that... that I, I liked Rocket Power all the way up until, like, that last episode where they finally find Mondo Mountain. And then when they get there, there's literally, like, a, a park, you know? Like so it's an open place that everyone knows about, basically? It's an open place that everyone knows about, and they've spent four fucking seasons trying to find a fucking mountain that everyone knows about. See, I didn't like Rocket Power a lot as a kid, personally, just because it... Like, the characters all seem like douchebags to me, to be honest. Oh, yeah, they were. I mean, that was a, that was a whole <laughs> this poor freaking Groot guy. What the hell are they? Spriggin? By the way, yeah. I played through the entirety of Skyrim and never encountered one of these guys. And then one day I was like sitting up at like 3 a.m. Just screwing around in the game. Not even doing quests. Just killing random NPCs and looting them. And I ran into one of these guys and I'm like, what the hell? There, There's Groots in this game? Like, I freaked out because I had no idea. No hey, new impregnations. Yeah, Some women have, have to low cake a giant cake before they eat it. You know, that's true. 
I never thought of it that way, Yo-Yo. You've opened my eyes to a new way of life. Yeah, you gotta... You gotta have all the cool things that come along with, uh... With Skyrim. With getting pregnant. Here's the thing, are you... Where are you even at? Like, on this... Uh, I'm in... I'm actually in a quest right now. No, no, no. I meant, like... (laughs) Where are you at in the game? I think we're in Oblivion. You're in Oblivion. Like, the world uh, that Oblivion takes place in. I don't know where that is. Because isn't Oblivion like the gates of hell or whatever in that game? Tamriel. 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 I believe that's where we are. (laughs) I Keep in mind, I've played Oblivion for a total of three hours. Really? Because I just got the game like this Christmas because I've only played Skyrim. Uh, CGN is new here. Say hello. Welcome, CGN. You're not new here, but welcome. Apparently I'm new. Yeah. I. You know what's funny? Those chat announcements... I have literally never seen them work ever, and I've had them on for an entire year. I don't think it's because anyone presses the buttons. I actually clicked the button. Oh, there's a button that says you're new here that announces it? it says introduce yourself to the community. Oh my god, I've wondered for years. I turned it on. Twitch literally suggested this feature to me, and I turned it on a year ago. And I'm like, I've never seen it happen. I don't know what they're talking about. New okay, chat announcements. No one clicks the buttons. That's all it is. Yeah. Because it says, yeah, please introduce yourself to the community. So I was like, all right. And it only <laughs> gave me three options. It was like, click these emotes to do it. And I was like, oh. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, what an intro. <laughs> Man, I'm, I've never talked to you before. What are you all about, I, dude? Well, I, I'll, let, let me see. You know, <laughs> I, uh, I really like uh, long walks on the grass i like long and, walks in the morgue yeah in the morgue <laughs> <laughs> that would like be the walking. that would literally be the most nerve-wracking thing in uh, just ever all right well you imagine you know but says uh, frank yes you know the, the thing is you just walk around and you're like oh you know i just i spend all my time in the morgue God, that'd be... I don't know how people do those kinds of jobs, just to be real with you. You mean like a funeral home? Yeah, that would drive me crazy. They make a lot of money, that's how. Oh, is that how? Yeah, they make lots of money. Uh, Well, I guess, I mean, you'd have to... Dying is expensive, man. (laughs) (laughs) I mean, you would have to pay me a lot of money to even go around someone's, like, dead auntie. Do you, do, you know how, do you know how expensive dying is? Dying is, like, super expensive. Let me tell you about myself. I like to stab people, says Yo-Yo. And the convo just ends here, says Frank. Agreed. <laughs> yeah, like... I, I always wondered, like, those, uh... The funeral homes and stuff. But they, they sell for so much money. Anytime somebody's, like, getting rid of one, it's always, like, seven, eight million dollars to buy the business. It's <laughs> you buy the business and then it's haunted. Yeah, it's like, how much are you all making? And they're like, oh, we make like you know two or three million a year. Dude, you ever watch those freaking ghost shows mm-hmm. where they're like investigating supernatural crap? And it's always yeah. like this family moved into a morgue where eight people were murdered. I don't know why there would ever be ghosts here. You know, it's I mean, what I else. moved into a place where a lady died, but I mean. Course, Dude, when my literal gr- my great <laughs> uncle died, right? He right. was he was like almost sixty, but he he had like horrible lungs from smoking his whole life, and his whole family were like chain smokers, so they really right. smoked. Okay, when he died, I didn't have a bed in my room, and I was sleeping on a futon, and my mom was like, "You want your uncle's bed?" And I'm like, "No, I w- I literally don't want anything to do with my uncle's bed. I love him." I'm sad that he went, but literally I want nothing, nothing to do with that. When my grandfather died and my grandmother was in some way, he died in like this rocking chair. Uh-huh. And when I say rocking, it's not a rocking chair, it was a recliner. Like one of those recliners, you're really distant from the mic right now, by the way. I, can, I think I can... Is that your dog barking or my dog? Am I back? Yeah, Did you're back. Better? Was that your I dog barking or mine, by the way? I don't have a dog barking. Okay, so that was, that was Peanut in the other room. But, uh... Yeah. 
what were you saying? Something about your grandpa's oh, rocking yeah, so chair? Like when my grandfather died, he had like this recliner, mm -hmm. and uh, nobody wanted it. I'm like, I'll take it. Yeah. See, my thing was, I wouldn't mind like a chair from a, from like a relative or whatever. It's specifically yeah, he, a place that he sleeps in all the time. You yeah, know, he died in this chair. <laughs> Yeah, and that would prob that may actually be a deal breaker for me. Like he, my he my fell asleep because yeah. he would sleep in the chair sitting up because he was having problems towards the end where he couldn't breathe real well. Yeah, and uh, yeah, he I mean he died in the chair and everybody was like, no, I don't want it. I'm like, yeah, I'll take it. It's a chair. Well, like I don't know. There's something different feeling to me about a bed as well, personally. Yeah. But here's like, the thing, you can always get, like, a new mattress. Well, he didn't even... Well, I, he, they were offering me, like, the mattress, because mine was jacked up. The mattress and, like, the whole shebang. And my thing was, like, he didn't die in the bed, but there's something uncomfortable to me about that. He died, like... He went to the bathroom to get something. He wasn't on the toilet, but he just collapsed and died there. From what I was I told. Know, I would have taken a bed. You know how much much beds cost beds are expensive they are um the bed that i have right now is uh n not too expensive but even that it was like a hundred bucks i'd take it like we, i'll take a chair if bought, someone died in like our bedroom suit my gosh like i bought that bedroom suit before me and cassie even got together yeah and we still sleep on this bedroom suit because Dude. i'm like i will never get rid of this thing because okay it cost my like fifteen hundred dollars my pastors a couple of my pastors at my church Right before the COVID thing happened, they had just bought a new, well, when COVID was going on, but before it was locked down, they just bought a new bed, right? And he was like joking about how he didn't even want to go to church that day because he just wanted to lay there. And I was like, well, how long did you have the old bed? He's like, oh, you know, like 12 years. I'm like, what? Like, I don't even, I mean, in fact, I think it was more than 12 years. They've had it since they've been married, and they've been a, married since they were in college. When you a really good bed, like a bed that's, you know, I mean, you're talking like the 700 to $1,000 range. When yeah. you buy a good wood bed that, like, the frame is just, you know, <laughs> it weighs like 700 pounds because it's so freaking massive. Yeah. You never get rid of those things because they never break. Yeah, like, he, I think I think I'm even wrong. I think they had it since they were married, and they're like... They're like fifth, early fifties, almost, maybe almost sixty. They're they're not ancient, but they're not like in their prime anymore. And they said they'd had it since they first got married. The bed that they had, they'd been married since college. So, That's what I'm saying, like you, I mean, I I am pretty sure that me and my wife, the bed that I bought before we got together, we will keep it for probably another ten, fifteen years, because. <laughs> <laughs> I I spent way too much money on it, you know, because I wanted a bedroom suit. I was so tired of not having one. As yeah. a kid, I never had a bed. I never never had like a real bedroom suit. Yeah, know? like I've got a freaking tiny twin size bed right now, and it's hell on That's me. That's what I'm saying. Because I toss and turn all the time when I sleep, and when you're I was a, when you're in this bed, kid, you can't do that. When I was when I was a kid, I had like a twin size mattress, you know, uh -huh. like. As every kid has when they're growing up. I mean, and, I'm not a kid, but yes. I mean, but that's what you have, you know? It's you, like you, what you know what's you funny, by the way? I had a queen-size bed as a kid and a full. Oh, really? I literally, like, I, I got a twin-size bed when we moved into this house because this is the smallest bedroom I think I've ever had. I've normally right. had like a decent size one. This one's not tiny, but it's like a cube shape and when i had a full size bed it literally came up to like right here like right where the my keyboard right here on the desk ends i know no one can see it but where my hands at that's where the bed ended so and like so basically i'd have to be like right here if i were to stream like that it would be hell now here, here's the question when you say yeah. you had a queen size bed uh -huh. Was it a frame and a mattress, or was it a full-size, like, you know, bedroom suit-type bed? It it was a frame, a box spring, a mattress, and uh, I didn't have any, like, special uh, comforters or anything for it. I just used the blankets I'm we had. Like, here, here's, here's the way to explain it. Yeah. Does it have post? No. It was just okay, a frame. So no. and. Gotcha. 
Yeah, it was like the like, the metal wheel wheelie ones. Oh, I get what you're saying. Yeah, see, those, that's that's what I had when I was a kid. But I was like, yeah. you know what? Because you always see like these really nice homes, and people have these. You know, you know what I want to have? The, as dumb pumps. as it sounds, I want to have one that has the freaking like Mr. Burns or like Ebenezer Scrooge curtains on it. Yeah, no, I mean, I could have that on our bed, but like, I don't want that. I want so it. We just have the. Yeah. We just have the post and like the big headboard and stuff. Yeah, let me let me read the chat cuz I've been uh waiting to read this for a sec. The idea of sleeping in a in a bed a dead person used used to use is kind of disturbing. On the other hand, that's an expensive bed. I have no qualms using a dead person's bed as long as the dead person can send to me. See, that's my thing. I feel like there's something different about sitting in a chair that a dead guy owned. And like yeah. laying down and resting for a long period of time, where you know someone who is who is not alive anymore rested. There's something like deeply unsettling to me about that. Yeah, I mean, like, no, I I understand. For, well, I'm just explaining to the chat. Frank says, "Ah, they don't mind." I'm sure they don't. He was also my uncle, so. This simple errand turned out to be more dangerous. Than <laughs> Yeah, no, I just, I take anything, though. I don't care what it is. Somebody's like, hey, I got this piece of furniture. I'm like, I'll take it. You know what? After we move houses, I am going to do everything in my power to try and get a, a full or queen again, because I can't in this room, but my God, it is just like, I cannot keep hey, sleeping on a twin forever. That's the, that's, the best way, that's the best way to show off to women. If you can bring them to your house and take them up to your room and you have a full fucking, like, <laughs> bedroom suit, like, you've, yeah. you've got, and they all match, like, if they all match, holy hell, you just won. <laughs> okay. Over. Game over, you're marrying that lady. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you got your wife? <laughs> That's how you get them, man. They see your bedroom and they go, oh my gosh, all your furniture matches, and like, yeah, it all matches, because I bought a fucking bedroom suit. <laughs> I, I mean, that doesn't sound that impressive to me personally. I don't it's think like, you understand, man. That's in, that's very impressive. <laughs> well, I'm sure to a, a lady impressive. that would be impressive. I just don't understand How why. How many pillows are on that bed? Okay, I had at least fifteen pillows on that bed. Why would you I need fifteen? I'm thinking of the practical side too much. <laughs> I'm like, why would you need fifteen pillows? Dude, don't think about practical. <laughs> I need to. I was. I was looking for women at that time, all right? True, true. I had to, I had to show them that I was a suitable bachelor, all right? <laughs> you were a suitable, you were a suitable specimen. Exactly. So I made sure I had pillows on my bed. Yeah. <laughs> I made sure that there was multiple pillows on my bed. 7,000 sure pillows on your bed. I made sure they all matched. I made sure that my comforter matched my sheets i made sure that my sheets were all satin i knew what i was doing i was like i made sure <laughs> and they're like satin sheets i'm like hell yeah satin <laughs> sheets have we ever used them again fuck no <laughs> but i did then you know yeah I made sure I didn't have any video games hanging around the bedroom because that scares people away, man. Well, they go, "Oh, you." <laughs> I guess the, I guess we're gonna have a problem then, because literally, the can... literally, my entire the old paper sharp. Yeah, what's up, uh, Nate? Is cool. How you doing? Um, I need all the pillows, please, dude. Literally half of my room. I've got four computer monitors in front of me, Xbox Switch. Uh, a freaking shelf of games, all my consoles over there but that here, are composite. The here's the thing. It's not, it's not <laughs> that people have an issue with video games in the bedroom. Are you responding to Frank in chat? Yeah, because like he was saying, I, I had with, with having video games in the bedroom. Video it's games? not so much you have video games. It's, it's not that they have the problem with the video games. It's the fact you play them in the bedroom. Okay. It's like, you like know, if you, you, if, I've got a really funny story after you're done saying what you're saying. 
Like, no, go ahead. No, that okay. was it. That was all I was saying. I have it. <laughs> I, okay, this person isn't my friend anymore, but um, there was a person who I kind of had to deal with in life, I'll call them. And uh, they were so nervous when they first had sex with their wife for the first time because they saved themselves for marriage. The literal, <laughs> literally, they brought their Xbox with them to just if if he if he can't perform in the bedroom they're gonna play xbox together i mean here's the thing on their honeymoon video games too and like if you go into our bedroom our place the playstation 4 is sitting up there in the bedroom yeah but i mean dependent on like when i was younger and i was looking for somebody i knew that like because I, I had heard women tell me this before when I was in college. They would say, if I go into a man's bedroom and he's got too many video games, I leave. And I'm like, fuck. <laughs> to be honest with you, like, and I know what you're getting at, and I get it, but like, but it's I would just think that, like, a girl was a bitch if she did that, to be honest with you. I mean, don't get me wrong. Yeah, I mean, it can kind of that can definitely be a bitch. And like Frank is saying, you know... His ex played 3DS every night. My wife, once again, plays her Nintendo Switch. She's playing it upstairs. In You're the talking about right like now. first impressions, essentially, right? Yeah, but that first impression, yeah. Okay. They they, they come I, in your bedroom for the first time, and if you've got a fucking picture of Mario <laughs> above your headboard, like no, 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 I hang my photos of Mario <laughs> above me on the bed, right next to the Sports Illustrated posters. Thank you very much. The swimsuit go. posters, rather, not the sport. I don't have a photo of Tom Brady on my roof, and don't don't look it up. Oh, for sure, yeah. I mean, don't don't get me wrong. Some people, like, if they came in your bedroom and they saw a bunch of Mario stuff, some some women, for sure. I mean, some dudes they would be would moistened be like, like yeah. a towelette immediately. Yeah, the fact that you get all the video games and stuff. But I, I've always my thing was that, like, when I was. I wanted to try to appeal to everybody. Yeah. You, know? <laughs> you wanted to cast a wide net and see what you... Yeah, cast. I wanted to cast a wide net. So, like, I had... when I, it, It's it's impossible when you live, like, with your parents. That was the one thing I yeah. figured out. Was that, like, if you're, if you're still living at home, it's almost impossible to make a really good first impression. That, that's... You know what? My cousin, <laughs> the, the girl that he married, the, he took her home. What the hell? He took her home while while he was still living with my aunt and everything. Right. And uh, he literally, what he did was he cleaned his room like a psychopath. Like his room was cleaner than it's ever been that I've ever seen his room. And it was just yeah. because he was preparing for a girl to be over. And then he, yeah, no, I mean, he I ended up that. marrying that one girl. Like, I'm pretty sure she's the first girl he ever dated as well. It, I may be wrong. If you're watching this, I'm sorry, but that's that's my understanding of it. I mean, I mean the, the only reason, I, I can't say this is the only reason, yeah. but one of the biggest reasons I married Cassie was because she enjoyed video games yeah. and didn't insult me for enjoying video games. I mean, to be honest with you, I'm like this with people in general, not just women, but like, it, it, I can understand you judging what I do a little tiny bit, because like, I understand you not, not liking me streaming video games more so than I would understand you being like, I hate Here's video games. If you can explain to that, if you can sit down and have a conversation and explain to that person yeah. why what you do is very similar to what they do. Yeah. Then you have a dialogue and you can run forward. So, like, for example, there was one girl I dated at the time. Mm -hmm. And I was, I had just started building CGN yeah. at this time, right? So, like, I spent a lot of time on my computer constantly. Yeah. And um, she just could not understand why I wanted to spend so much time in front of this computer watching people play video games. That was her thing. Yeah. Like you watch people play video games. Well, I mean, you watch really people true. play football. Well, that's what I told her. I'm like, you watch people play sports every single day. The, was like, she an they actual they sports playing? fan? Yeah, she was. Okay, she was so like, yeah, you know, it's the exact same thing. If so anything, like, this know, is 
this physically is not as involved, but in terms of like the like this situation, gaming is more interesting because there's more variety. Like you watch a football game, it's a football game. You watch a soccer game, it's a soccer game. You watch me play like Elder Scrolls Blade and you've never seen the game, you're like, what the hell is this crap? Why is the turning so weird? It looks fun though, in all honesty. Like I'm sitting it's, I'm watching it's, you play it and it doesn't actually look bad at all. Yeah, it's pretty dope, man. I'm having a good time actually. I just the yeah. one complaint is just the turning. Yeah, the turning I don't I don't know if it's are they making you turn like on a grid? Is that how it's I working? I think that's how it's working, because there's sometimes like right here. It's perfectly like smooth. Not, right. But then whenever but when, I'm like on the stairs, on look at grid. this. I'm trying to turn on the stairs and it's like, uh Well, that's what I'm saying. I think you're turning on a grid. Like, you're yeah. turning at like 35 degree angles. Or, I think so. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I think so. I think that's how they're making you turn. Because they can't get you to do that full 360 motion on mobile. Yeah. Because that's like almost impossible. That's my so biggest complaint like about mobile grid. ports, by the way. Is yeah. like, take the things that weren't right for the mobile game and don't put those on the console version. But I don't think they can do that because they've already built the game. Okay, Yo-Yo yeah. says uh, different women prefer different things. Sometimes strange yeah, things are a turn off. For example, the last girl I dated was really turned on by the 68 pictures of anime girls in my room. Or turned off. Pretty yeah. weird, right? I, yeah, man, I that's weird. That. I'm pretty sure Yo-Yo, like... He sets up folders on his computer just to screw with people. Are you and Sarah still together, by the way, Yo-Yo? Not to, like, get too personal. That's the girl that I knew him as dating. Okay, you know me... another thing that was yeah. really impressive that I would have never thought of back then when I was, like, single? Uh, moist pellets. A... Well, no, it was the fact that I had a car. That was also a big... Thing. How old were you? I was, well, I don't, see, I'm not very old now, so I was, what, 19, 20? I mean, I think you're about my age. How old are you? 24. You're exactly my age. Yeah. And you're 19, and that was, why was that impressive for, to be 19 and have a car? super impressive. Why? I have, like, I don't, I don't know, because, like, most, I mean, most of the girls I talk to would be, like, listen, I'll be honest, one of the reasons I chose you over so-and-so was the fact you had a car. Man. You know, I always feel really conflicted when I hear that, because logically it makes perfect sense. And when you think about it, like, I've, I've rejected girls for weird reasons that are like that. You know, like, there was a girl one time that I rejected because she didn't like my jokes, literally. Like, I told a joke, oh, well, and yeah. she, she's like, you're not mature. And I'm like, okay, bye. You know? Well, that's one of the things. They they say, hey, you're not mature. You're not a suitable partner for me. <laughs> you know? That's the thing, though, is when I think about these things, I guess it's the way that I view the world, but, like, I feel like I view love as not, like, a logical thing, if that makes sense. So, like, no, I, I, I think the exact same way. Yeah. Because I've always been like, listen, if you can't, like you should be I, I've always thought of it like this you should be able to love everybody right? yeah like I always and maybe it's a man thing where I feel <laughs> like I could have married anyone literally anyone including like, Steven Seagal sure why not <laughs> if we could have if I as long as I could you know been able to talk to him every once in a while I'd been fine you know yo-yo yeah, yeah, says I have one folder called illegal hentai bondage you won't believe it. <laughs> it's empty <laughs> Stay out of my things, people. <laughs> <laughs> no, he like, literally I mean, I... does, because I was watching his stream one time, and I saw that in the corner, and I was like, I'm not sure whether I should ask or not. <laughs> but I, I always thought that way. Like, every single girl I dated, I was like, I could see myself marrying this person. Yeah. Like, I always, but that was the <laughs> way I thought, you know? Yeah. I wasn't, I was looking for an actual relationship. I, mean, I wasn't looking for... Yeah. You know, someone to just sleep with, neither. So, I was always maybe thinking, Maybe like, that's, like, my thing as well, is, like, I'm thinking about these things, and I'm like, do I get along with the girl? Do we have some sort of thing in common? Uh, do see, our beliefs honesty, conflict? That's wife don't really even have that much in common. 
Yeah, but, and that's what I hear I from most along. married people. I can and, get along with my wife, and that's really <laughs> all that mattered to me. Well, well, what I mean is I feel like you have to have at least some tiny amount of common ground, or it's going to oh, be... for sure, yeah. I I'm, mean, I'm saying if you're... Total yeah, like, if, if I dated, like, I don't know, like, I'm not a very... Well... I don't know. I, I'm not a very competitive, sporty person. Imagine me dating a girl who is competitive in every single way, doesn't like video games. Um, no, see, that's one of those things where I feel like you could yeah. actually be totally fine. Yeah, but what I'm saying is like if... the fact that they're really competitive and the fact that you're not... Yeah. You could you would be totally fine I, there. And I agree. I'm what I'm trying to describe is I'm describing imagine if they were different every single way and and there was oh, no, yeah, no common ground. Yeah. I was I mean, just listing could, things. Here's the thing. If you could maybe there's no common ground, but if the fact that you could continue to like each other for years, then hey, yeah, probably found somebody. Ah, fair. Even if you don't agree on anything, because me and my wife don't really agree on anything, it seems like. Yeah. But, 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 even though we can't agree on much, which is, you know, seems to be, it seems to get worse over time. Like, the literally, the yeah. older you get. You know, well, the, as people get older, older, they become more, like, set in their ways, from my understanding. Yeah, well, I mean, we just, we just start to disagree more because she just gets annoyed by me. Yeah. You know? I get it. She's got to live with me for the rest of her life. Can you imagine? <laughs> <laughs> unless she unless she poisons your coffee. I mean, she says that every day. So that yeah. she's going to poison your coffee or that she has oh, to well, live with you. I don't drink I don't drink coffee, but it'll be like literally I got in bed last night and she's like I'm just going to kill you. And Jesus. I'm like, All right, do it. And she's like I'm going to do it and I'm like do it. <laughs> do it. You know? <laughs> See, like now, that that's like I know that she's joking. But that's a right. thing that I freaking hear people talk about is like, my wife's going to kill me. And it's like, she's not your mom, dude. She pro Well, my thing is like, do it, you know? Just <laughs> Try me. Like, what? Do Just it. Just go in. Like, I wouldn't even care. Like, of course I wouldn't care. I'd be dead. Like, <laughs> I remember joking with you one time. I think I was on CGN or Twitter or something like that. God, I cannot fight in this dungeon nearly as well. Yeah, I'm. Wants to kill me. Okay, well, fucking let her kill you. Then, uh, dude. thank you, Killroy. Killroy. Killjoy. Killjoy. Twenty-five. <laughs> uh, eighty-one. Eight hundred and one. I can't read today. I am doing miserably at this game. You're I, winning, though. Yeah. Well, no, I just oh, died. No, died. Yeah, I just died. Uh, dude, you just died to like a little goblin. Well, I don't understand the like combat in this game just yet. But how are you, Killjoy? Sorry, I can't read worth a crap. What level are you? I'm just starting the game just now, my dude. You're three. I'm yeah, I'm like three because I'm I'm in my character Steven Seagal. For me, love is about wanting to spend time with someone. Yeah, that might. I can agree with that dying. completely. I'm good. There's a way to block. Yeah, yeah that's why I'm trying to figure out. Is that like? Yeah, yeah, it yo, seems like one of the point. analog stick. Uh, one of the analog sticks keeps bringing up my shield, but I don't know like what button I press or what I do completely. Like, I, I think you got a point there, Yo-Yo. Like, it's kind of like just, do you want to spend time with that person? You do know you what? Care for them? I and agree really with that. It. I think that's a good point. Is it and someone that, who that you, who you think you want to spend time with for a long time? Forever, basically. Yeah. I can see and that. It's like, that's, that's it. Like, is, do you want to spend time with this person? Are you capable of living with this person for the rest of your life? Yeah. And if you can say yeah, well, okay, that's probably it. <laughs> Left analog stick, bring it to the right when in combat. Okay, okay. That is love. Love is just the fact that what you, know, is love? you, you want to strangle that person, but you don't. That's love. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's the best way you could have put that. That's how. That's what I always say. Like, love is just when you them. really want to like strangle someone to death. But and watch the light it. fade from their eyes as they say their last words. But, you know, you just don't. Yeah, I'm hitting it. I'm bringing it to the right. Because you okay. think to yourself, like, no, if I killed this person, I'd miss them. And, you know, I'd want to see them again. <laughs> if so, I killed so this just, person, don't. I'd miss them. Okay. Okay, it's the yeah, right exactly. analog stick. I see. I thought I had to bring the left one to but the somebody right. somebody you don't love, you would never do that. You would be yeah. like, yeah, fuck that guy. And you just kill him, you know? 
It, well, I would do that. <laughs> you may. You can confess to your crimes if you would like. I will confess to my crimes. I will confess to nothing. <laughs> okay, this is really like punch will out. I be absolved of my sins if I go to confession. That's another difference between like Catholics and Protestants is like I just if I do something wrong I just like pray like here and I'm um, like God I'm sorry. To do too. I don't even know why you go to confession because Wait, he's is, like, All right, do they want you to pray at home? Because I was always taught yeah. that you're okay. So there's no point now. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Confession was always silly because you go to the priest and then you'll be like, forgive me, I've sinned. And they'll be like, all right, what, what have you done? And you'll be like, oh, I did all this. And they'll be like, all right, go I home stabbed and a hobo and, like, and what the fuck? I stabbed a hobo and ripped out his entrails. And Did then I just went home and prayed? Yeah. And they've been like, yeah, I guess you could have done that. Five Hail like, Marys. Yeah, give me, give me some, you know, <laughs> give some me some, and, uh, Give me some skin, brother. Yeah. Well, and, and what if the priest congratulated you, know, you on your sins? <laughs> like, you did good. Tussles I mean, his I, fingers through your hair. I'm proud of you, son. The thing is, like, you go to the priest, you talk to him, and then, like, you, uh, you, you can pray with the priest. That's a little different, you know? Yeah. It's like, all right, let's... And, and they're, they're better at praying. Let's just be honest. <laughs> they're way up. They really are. <laughs> they're so much better at it. I mean, I've prayed. I've had to pray over groups of people before, so like I'm. You know what I'm talking about, like. I mean, are just way better at praying. Man. To be honest with you, like I'm a person, like I'm a, I'm a praying dude. So like anything that mildly bothers me in my life, I pray about. Like if you were to call me a jackass today, I'd probably end the stream and be like, God, I've, I'm, I'm kind of mad at Zach right now. <laughs> I do that, no joke. I pray about everything that bothers me at any time. No, you must go uh, to church. They have magic holy water mist I in think, the air. I think what I mean That's is they good at public praying, you know? Like praying out loud. Like they're I, really good at that. Yeah, okay. Well, that's because that's the job. Yeah, like they're super good at it. <laughs> and you're like, God, you're just really good at like praying out in the open, man. There are some like, preachers I've met that suck at it. It's not like it's oh. a contest, though. Well, no, I'm sure there's great preachers and ministers who can pray because it's their job, you know? Like, they, they have to pray with people. And it's like, oh, you're so good at it. Like, I, I have to stand up there and actually, like, come up with things to say and be <laughs> like, and then God, we pray for, you know, the... I mean, I just pray, pray what's on my mind, typically. I mean, like, I just pray <laughs> what's on my mind. I literally talk to God, basically. I'm like, God, I'm kind of mad at Zach. I wish he hadn't called me a jackass there. I'm bothered by that. <laughs> That's literally yeah, see, what priest, I do. The priest will take those words and be like, you know, Father, I, uh, I pray that, you know, I've, I've upset uh, a great man or something. Like, they, <laughs> they always make it sound good, you know? And they're like, man, you know, you really made that sound a lot better than I could have made that sound. <laughs> I feel like that's just people <laughs> skills, though. How the hell do I unlock? Yeah. How do I use my consumables, everyone? Oh, here it is. Okay, I've it's only like, got hey, stamina took, potions. That's why I'm done. You took what I had in my head and you made it sound good. Thanks so much, Doc. That's yeah. a very marketable <laughs> skill, to be honest. Yeah, that's why they're in the position they are. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because they know how to talk to people. Okay, that's like, why. That's fuck. why I'm screwed. I have no consumables left. There's only you one time I tend to call to out to God, says Frank. Mm. <laughs> okay. Well, I guess I don't have any potions left, so I am. Why? Combo why? attack everybody. Just hit them with both hands. I can't do that. I wish I could. Yeah, I don't know. You should. You should equip two weapons. Can you? Can you do a wield in this game? I don't think you can. I don't know. You know who? You know who else? Like you know people who can pray. It's like the street preachers on Skyrim. They're real good at praying out loud too. <laughs> I always <laughs> murder those guys. Pray to Talos. You know. Pray to Thanos. Yeah, pray to Thanos. <laughs> and they're just always like, they have that voice, and you're like, you know what? You sound, you sound like someone I could listen. To. They're literally <laughs> some of the easiest NPCs to kill in that game to me. It's like the, it's like the street preacher in Grand Theft Auto 4. Is that just screaming at you? Wait, is that real? I've played GTA 4. I'm doing that on Thursdays. I didn't know there was a street preacher. Jesus, yeah, you I'm... ain't seen the street preacher? No. You know, he's, oh, I'm he's so like effed in my tiny little BB, dude. He's like in 
He's like an old black guy, and he's just screaming. And you're like, oh my god. Right, cool. You're like, hey, thanks, man. Like, thanks for telling me the world's gonna end. Like, fuck do I care? Dude, that's that's one thing as a Christian I hate when people talk about. Because people talk about that, that crap all the time. That's that's my grandmother. She's Praise always like, son. oh, the world's gonna end. And I'm like, if it was gonna end, why wouldn't it just fucking end? Well, it's also the fact that, like, people who are Christians, they quote the book of Revelations constantly, but it's like, also, everything yes. to them is a sign of the end. Literally everything bad that ever happens. Like, yeah, there can never just be an unfortunate circumstance. It's that a sign. This coronavirus. They're like, do you think the world's going to end this when, coronavirus? When like, Donald no. Trump got voted as the president, I had, pe I had arguments with people on Facebook who were saying it was God's prophecy, and I'm like, that is the silliest thing I think I've ever heard in my life. Yeah, because Revelations totally told it as, you know, Jesus the, came the, down with his serpent tongue it, and stabbed people in the face, right? No, yeah. in, in Revelations it says the trump will sound. That's a thing people said. Wow. Ooh, wow, the trump will sound. You know, they definitely didn't mean a trumpet. No, absolutely not. Why would they have said that? <laughs> I, also, I feel like if, if Donald Trump were a sign of the end of the world... He probably would have done it before he was 71 or something. How, how old is he? Yeah, right, like 71, 72. Like, he's just old enough where I don't think he's, like, unfit to be president, but if he were, like, 80 or something, I'd worry about him. You know what I mean? A tool of the devil, the debit card reader. Yeah, I, I, Oh I my god, that's true! And barcodes, barcodes when they came out. The only thing that I've ever heard in my life that made me really disturbed was when people talk about getting themselves microchipped. That's when I'm like, oh, that's some f fucking end of the world shit right there. They that say that, but I don't think it is. I don't think it would be the end of the world. I think it's just a better way to keep track of the citizens, and then that's to it. To me, it's just like it's it's a violation of freedom. Like there's something oh, about it. Kinda, I mean, don't get me wrong; it definitely is. But how much fucking freedom have we given away already? That yeah. one's the one where I draw the line, and I do become the conspiracy theorist a bit. But don't forget that, like, the freedom. That we, I mean, they're already tracking you through your phone anyway. Well, they yeah, but here's the thing. If you put a microchip in someone's body, you have to dig it out of your skin. If I want to take this cell phone and throw it in the river, I can do that. That's yeah, the reason can. why it freaks me out. Yeah, I mean, you got a point. You can leave your phone and go somewhere. I've done that before. Do I never had a cell yeah. phone as a child. I literally, well, I take it back. I had crappy phones I didn't use, so I just turned them off and left them alone. Once right, I got no, an I iPhone, that's when I started, like, getting more in touch with social media. And when I started well, doing like, Twitch. You know, Frank says that's some right Logan's now. Run shit. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, the thing is, like, right now, they they were seeing, like, how many people were leaving New York based on cell phone records. Yeah. Cell phone data. And they were like, it looks like, you know... Around 100,000 people have left New York since the COVID crisis. I, I mean, I don't really blame people who do that, but I think that they need to knock it off as well. Yeah, I mean, I just, I was like, well, shit, if we've got cell phone records that can give people like, hey, we know this many people have left the state. I'm yeah. Like, it's not going to be long before they're just like, microchip everybody. I mean, Literally, I mean, if they do that, there's no way in hell. Like, I... Thing. America won't do it first. Yeah. We won't do it first. Some other country is going to It's Sweden right it. now that I've been reading about that's been doing it the most. Yeah, it's, it's going to take one of those little countries that, you know, they already know where all their people are anyway. Yeah. And they're just going to be like, hey, let's do this. And they're going to be like, all right. Yeah. Once those countries do it, and maybe like Singapore or something, because <laughs> one of the eastern countries has to do it too. And then once they, they'll be like, all right, yeah. I'm playing Mike Tyson's Punch Out with a bear right now as we're talking about the end of the world. I just want to, I just want to talk about the circumstance we found our lives in today. Nolan is Man, trying to uh, add himself for some odd reason. I don't know why. I don't I even like think it. Nolan is following me. I think he just comes to my chat to say weird things. That's possible. Like literally, I don't know. I don't think he is. 
Dude, when all this stuff's over, man, I just want to, like, I want to travel, but I'm so concerned that, like, nothing's going to go back to normal. I mean, I think economically nothing's going to go back to normal for, like, a, a well, decade or something. Yeah, but I'm just meaning, like, I don't think people are going to be as, like, they're going to be way more cautious now. Yeah. I just feel like people are. Because, I mean, like I said, like with Knoxville, for example, with Kane opening up Knoxville. Freaking and nobody Kane. Going out. Mayor Kane. Yeah. yeah, literally opening up Knoxville and nobody going out. I think that just shows you right away that people are like, yeah, no, the world's going to fucking change. And this is how it's going to be from now on. To be honest, I wouldn't mind if people kept to themselves more, though. That's just... No. Like, I'm an extroverted dude, but I prefer people to leave me the hell alone sometimes. Yeah, I know. I mean, me and my wife have been talking about it, and we're like, you know, we're totally fine if, like, this continues forever. I definitely need to get some potions, because I'm getting like, screwed. don't get me wrong. I, I would love to see, like, parks and stuff open back up, though, because, like, that that type of stuff, like, that makes, that makes sense to me. Like, I do want to go out sometimes. Kill the damn but... bear. Dang it! He had one hit left as well. Okay, I'm leaving this. Got him. No, oh, I did died. He kill you? Seriously? He killed me, yeah. Uh oh, fuck. I think this is also like a never ending tower mode, though, in fairness. Like, I was on the seventh floor, so I think it's just Dude, a never ending tower. Dude, Steven Seagal, man, he is not doing well. <laughs> yeah. As he someone who loves lot. his personal space, I'm okay with the change. Yeah. The thing is, I love talking to people, but even then, like, I went for my first walk ever since all this crap has went down today, and I remember walking around and, like, my freaking, one of my neighbor's yards is literally like a forest. I have not left this house or my backyard since it happened at all. Okay? Yeah, well, I mean. So, walking we, around the neighborhood. We've driven and bought food. Yeah. I haven't even done that. My parents have. I've just stayed home and did my thing. But see, that's the thing. You've got someone else that can go get food. Me yeah, and, me and my true. Wife, we actually have to go get it. <laughs> uh, you can Uber Eats. Oh, no, you can't. You no, live out in the country, don't you? Yeah. No, I can't get Uber Eats out here. <laughs> but, um, I gotta go pick up my food. <laughs> like a big, strong man. Like a big, strong but, man. But it was fascinating. For the first time, I went out and actually walked. And I, I freaking, it was weird how quiet everything was. I can't get Grubhub here sometimes. Just yeah. depends on the restaurant. Just really depends you on the You can just eat nothing but Taco Bell and get dysentery. That's, that's one of the places. Taco Bell, McDonald's. Our town, because I don't think, does Uber Eats a whole lot either, and it's specifically we, Taco Bell and McDonald's. Like, we've only got like two or three. So I live, like I said, in a very small yeah. town, but like... 10 to 15 minutes away from a big town yeah so but there's only like two or three restaurants in this very small town it's taco bell and mcdonald's and that's it winning and i mean then there's two actual restaurants but they're not open right now because you can't yeah. go inside any restaurants can can anyone so in chat tell me how to get consumables in this game like where to go to buy them by the way maybe you because there's no them. shops that i know of yeah can i craft them or something I don't know. Uh, I guess there's a store here. Is that what that is? No, that's like asking me. This is basically V-Bucks and then real world money it's wanting me to spend. And I ain't doing that crap. Maybe that's it. Maybe you, to get more potions, you got to spend money, man. Maybe. Maybe that's the catch because it is a mobile game port. That's the catch, man. You died so many times that now you got to spend money to get some more. Well, no, I'm just trying to get consumables. It, it'll let me play. I think I was on like a mode where I have to keep going up a tower. Need your V bucks, dude. <laughs> I, you know what? Real talk. I thought about buying V bucks not too long ago, and then I was like, "What the hell am I doing?" I bought some V bucks back in the day. Like, yeah. When I played Fortnite for a little while. Well, well, Fortnite and, uh, it has these limited skins. Everything in the shop is limited, so every right. single time there's a thing that I think I want to get, I'm like, "I got to get it right now," and then I stop myself because I'm not an idiot who blows his money on DLC. Yeah, I get. I, I did it once, and I was like, "Well, that was worth it." And I got the outfit I wanted, and I was like, "All right, that's it. I, I'm done. Never need it again." Yeah. This is and so like is weird as a concept. This reminds me of an old WiiWare game. Do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. No. Like I've been watching you play this, and I'm kind of like, "Man, this just this seems like something 
that you would play on an old PC, doesn't it? It kind of does. Like, like the this, graphics are nice, but it kind of does graphics, look like something like that. Like the graphics are cool and and stuff, but it totally reminds me like the fighting style of like you having to stop every time a new thing pops up. Yeah. It just reminds me so much of like an old PC game like before they had the ability to button mash and shit. Yeah. Like that's just how I can definitely see that. Like, this is what it looks like. It looks like I'm looking at someone playing a game from, like, Windows Vista or Windows XP. Dude, what, I can tell me your opinions on Windows Vista, by the way. Windows just in general or just... A Vista specifically. Windows. Man, I didn't like Vista. Nobody did. See, Vista was so weird for me because I saved all my money to get a Windows Vista computer. And that this was, like, months of saving money. And then when I got it, it sucked. For two reasons. One was that we didn't have Wi-Fi in the house. Not because we couldn't do it, because my my dumbass stepdad at that time, I don't have to deal with him anymore so I can say that. He refused to set up Wi-Fi because he said it's easier to hack, which is true generally. But also it's like okay, yeah, I have it's a laptop. Easier to hack, but who the fuck wants to hack it? I mean, yeah, and you can also, like, set a password on everything, and, like, he literally, I bought a laptop, and I was tethered to my desk with it, because he refused to hook Wi-Fi up. Sense. Yeah, like, and... You can't have Wi-Fi because it could be hacked. What are they gonna steal? You can hack someone's LAN network as well, if you get into their computer. Well, that's that's my thing. I'm, everybody's like, you gotta... I, see, so I'm against VPNs, alright? I don't yeah. know if you know this. I've never really talked about this, but I don't like VPNs. Alright. I don't I don't like any of those like Express VPN or any like Nord VPN and shit. I know they give people money and yeah. they are probably useful in some regard, but I'm a hundred percent telling you, you don't need them. They're not needed. If you only use websites like YouTube, Twitch, Twitter, and shit like that, you never fucking need Nord VPN. It's yeah. not needed. Fucking not needed. I don't know why people buy these things. I mean, I know why, because they always say, like, protect your internet privacy. It's like, but I'm not going anywhere. Yeah. You know? If I was going on the dark web, yeah, maybe I'd fucking need ExpressVPN. Yo-Yo says but, Windows Vista High Tech. Jacob says he's back. Yeah. Welcome back, my dude. I hope you're feeling good. I just don't like people seeing people yeah. waste like five dollars a month on something that they're really not even needing i've got mixed feelings on vpns because there's some uses like when something's like cut out of a certain region of netflix and crap and like that kind of makes sense but is it worth five dollars a month to have a vpn just so you can watch like it, one it depends movie? on the vpn in my opinion because there's some that are cheaper than others there's some that are better than others in terms of security like, and like it Jacob, all depends that makes sense to me like the whole like having a vpn because you're in china i know people on cgn who use a vpn because yeah. cgn is banned in china why would they you ban know? cgn specifically because we're because we're video games is all are all well. oh yeah that's right nintendo tried to break into the chinese market and they had to market themselves in a weird way i think yeah like you because we're video games and because you're playing a game that probably wouldn't be acceptable in China, so. Gotcha. You so know PewDiePie right away, is banned in China as well? Every, every, I mean, he plays video games, so he's probably been banned for years. Well, he got banned recently for talking about memes, apparently, uh, regarding the Chinese emperor, ruler, or whatever. Right, whatever yeah, they're but, called. I mean, that that's just stuff they say, but in all yeah. honesty, it... They've been banned for years. Like, CGN was literally banned, like, within two months of me creating the website in China. Yeah, um... And, like, I, we didn't even have a Chinese person ever visit the website at that J point. Jacob says, banned. I know a guy who uses a VPN in China to watch porn and enter YouTube because it is blocked. Yeah, I was just responding to him. Oh, okay. Real talk, yeah. though, could you, like, get arrested for, like, watching YouTube in no, China? I mean... Or would they just block not. it? Well, here's the thing. They have their Great Firewall. The great, you know, they have the Chinese... They have the Great Firewall. The Great Firewall of China. Exactly. I mean, is that, and that is literally what it's called. 
That is the greatest um, thing I've ever heard in my life. Yeah. And uh, they it, it stops people from accessing websites they don't want them to access. Yeah. So you get a VPN to access those websites. Now, for example, if you live in Hong Kong, you're still kind of restricted by the Chinese government, even though you're not technically part of the Chinese government. Yeah. You know? So Well, you're like under their over, rule, aren't you? You're kind of under their rule. Like, they govern themselves, but they also don't... They're, China is trying to take away their powers that they've had. Yeah. You know? um, <laughs> my mom just butt-dialed me. In cool. FaceTime, she butt-dialed me. There you go. And she never FaceTimes me, so I picked up my phone. I'm like, hello? Hello? And she's like, what just happened? I'm like, I think you just butt-dialed me on FaceTime somehow. Jacob says he used to go to school with him and he moved to China and he apparently used his VPN solely for porn and YouTube. There you go. The only thing that the internet is used for porn, Nathan Sample Games on Twitch, and YouTube. Specifically yeah. me on Twitch, though. <laughs> no one else. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's just that's how it works, man. Only me. That's there, the internet for you. There can be only one. Yeah, there's only five websites on the internet. Remember that. You ever notice that nowadays we really do just go on the internet to use like five websites? That's what I'm saying. Like that's why I'm kind of against VPNs because we only use like four or five websites. You know? Oh my god, I can do that? I figured out how to use my magic in battle and it's so go. much more effective. I just you do it. That is but, so yeah, much no. more effective, dude. <laughs> that's why I tell people I'm just like, you know, you don't really need a VPN if all you're ever gonna use is Google, Twitter and facebook yeah you know like i tell this to like my dad and he'll be like oh yeah but it sound, I, I saw a commercial where i need it and i'm like you don't you don't i mean i'm okay with vpns because i don't really like i don't know it's just a thing for me right. i've, I've had mean, my like, mods also tell me like i don't understand why people use vpns one of my mods I'm like, I don't know. To me, it's just like a situation where I don't fully understand everything. So I would rather be safe than sorry, if that makes sense. Well, that's kind of what it is, is that most of the people using them really don't. Like, know I generally know it. what they are, but I don't. Like, for example, like, I'm a hero pack. Blah, blah, blah. Is I mean, this a thing that's thing asking exactly, me about? They, they do exactly what they... But they, they say. say they do. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the thing is, is that so does just about. Yeah. So does basically your your Google browser. Well, the it reason does that. <laughs> the reason why I say that is like right now our our ISP has been incredibly cool lately, but we've just mm -hmm. been like using Netflix before, and they've just been like nah, throttled for no reason. Yeah, and now from that my I don't understand. Huh. I said, now that I don't really understand. I don't know. I think thing. it's because I sit in here and I stream for four hours, and then my family watches Netflix instead of TV a lot of the time. So they're like, right. there's a lot of stuff going on. They must be torrenting. And so for me, I will sometimes, I won't run a VPN when I'm streaming, but I'll sometimes run a VPN just because I don't feel like my internet crapping out on me. Like, they've been behaving really well lately. That's why I'm streaming in higher quality, and I'm happy about it. So how bad is this uh, play? T uh, is this play to win? It pay to win. Uh, pay to win. Yeah. yeah um, to win. It definitely has like stuff that you can buy. So far, like there's this big ass store where it wants you to like buy all this crap. So far, I'm enjoying it. But if you hate pay to win crap, it's definitely a little, little, little scummy about that. Yeah, also, pay. welcome to the stream, my dude. The word but safety cool. triggers people. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it, it definitely does. The word safety just kind of... Yeah. L you're like, like, oh, well, I'm safe. <laughs> I'm telling but you, my no, freaking really. network, my, my internet provider just randomly cuts us off. There's one time I mean, where I, I was streaming happen. at the exact same bit rate I was on right now, and it, it just went <laughs> completely, entirely, just no matter what I did, the internet was just down. And yeah, it wasn't I mean, I, a network failure. It was just like a thing that kept happening consistently. 
Well, you were just maxing out your bandwidth. That's really what. No, it was. I was. I'm streaming under our bandwidth right now. Like, our bandwidth is six megabits. I do this at like four, and no one else was on the network at that time. Oh, I know. But what I'm meaning is that, like, that's that's what happens. Is that you're you're streaming at like four, but yeah. it jumps for a minute because my wife does this. Yeah. She's like, they're maxing out their bandwidth, but I can't tell them they're maxing out their bandwidth because uh, they don't understand what I'm saying. And okay. That's that's exactly what it is. You you're maxing it out, and it's just for like a certain amount of time, and it yeah. becomes it freaks out, and then it just drops everything. And Kriyoyo says this, like, I'll enable whatever this VPN thing is. It says it'll protect me. Jacob says UK uh, Wi-Fi is really bad, especially at the moment. Yeah. Wait. Why I is mean, it asking me to recustomize them? I don't want to do that crap. What can I do for you? But yeah, it's that's usually what happens, and I always that's why I, me and Cassie we made sure that we got the best. I mean, that's the whole reason I got new internet now, is because we needed it really badly. You know. Yeah. I can't. I couldn't stream or nothing. I didn't have that ability. I yeah. Really, I do now, but even though I don't really have time to do it, so. Yeah. I mean, I might think about it now, but Comcast gave us a real good deal. Have we met before? I don't think so. My name is Steven Seagal. <laughs> Steven Seagal, that Steven rings Seagal. a bell. That rings a bell. That sounds familiar that to me. <laughs> That's This is conversation Steven Seagal has in public. Like, I know you from somewhere. Where are you, Where like, do I, I know like you I'm, from? Yeah. Oh, like you know, I've I was an action star. Uh, uh. I was an action star back in the 1990s. <laughs> I did a lot of straight to... Straight to the box VHS. Office. Yeah, straight to VHS movies. You know yeah. those ones that your father used to watch. Your Dude, my my great grandma used to watch those. Yeah. Literally, my VHS freaking great grandma movies. used to watch that crap all the Man, time. That was a racket back then, though. Those straight to VHS movies, like they were yeah. making fucking bank. Yeah, I think about that now. Like, what is the equivalent to that in the modern day? Because, like, no one's going to buy a straight-to-Blu-ray or DVD movie anymore. No, you can't. What happened was streaming just took over that industry. Yeah. You know? I, Scotty. Because people, yeah. Because people who didn't have a lot of money and didn't want to go to the movie theater and stuff, they would just buy these straight-to-VHS movies and watch them. Yeah. Because they would have, like, A-plus actors. They were getting good actors, and they knew there was a lot of money being spent on it. So they There's get just one a, good guy. a freaking dead demon foot here. A destroyed so they, founder statue. That's okay. all they had to do. Like, they just had to get one guy. You know, one A-list actor. Yeah. They could make a straight, you know, straight to VHS movie. And then people would buy it. But is Steven and Seagal really an A-list actor? I'd consider him... At the time, him, man, he was like... Yeah, I'd consider him like actor. an, an X-minus actor. Oh, well, uh, I mean, at the time, like, he was... He was totally what people would have considered an A-list actor. I'm talking I so mean, much crap about Steven Seagal. And the, and the thing is, is like the movie industry probably never considered him an A-list actor. But the fact that he kept putting out movie after movie after movie, yeah, you know, is what got his name so much recognition. Was that people kept buying these VHS tapes because they were cheap, and he was just getting so well known. Yeah. And they would be like, he's not actually that great of an actor. And they're like, well, he's the only actor I've seen in the past two years because all I do is buy these VHS tapes. Yeah. So My my great grandma was obsessed with Chuck Norris. One, because she had the hots for him, to be honest. And the other was because she would just watch Walker, Texas Ranger. She's in a wheelchair because she'd had like six strokes. So she'd just Everybody sit there and watch Walker, Walker and Ranger. smoke cigarettes all day. Yeah, Walker, Texas Ranger was the best. I've never watched it. Walker, Texas Ranger. My favorite Chuck Norris movie is probably like Lone Wolf McQuaid, but I've only seen like five or six of them. I've seen like, isn't there like, there's the one with the dog. What's the one with the dog? Uh, you're asking the wrong guy. I don't know. Uh, chat, what's the Chuck Norris movie with the dog? Chuck movie with the dog. Yeah. He's like a police officer, and there's a dog involved, and it's a cute one. That's all that. <laughs> that's that's uh, my oh yeah, my professional top, top synopsis. Dog. You're talking about top dog. Yeah, top dog. That's yeah. right. I've seen that one. I've seen. I think it's Delta Force or something like that, where he's in the jungle. 
That movie literally didn't. It the budget was six million dollars and it made five point one million dollars. So they lost a million dollars. That's unfortunate. Top Dog. <laughs> yeah, Top Dog. Came out in '95. Yeah. And it literally it, the budget was six million dollars. Yeah. The box office was five point one million dollars. So I mean, they basically lost a million dollars. Dude, do you remember like buying movies and buying deep like video games back in the day and not knowing everything about them? Oh yeah, because I would go to um, we would go to Hollywood Video. Yeah. Because I, I didn't go to Blockbuster because we didn't have a Blockbuster. Here. We had a Blockbuster that went under before the company was even in trouble. To be honest with you, like our Blockbuster had a garbage selection and then we had Hastings and we just went there instead because it was way better they had books and comics and freaking music CDs and video ga like they had everything there I, I'm starting to sound like an advertisement but they also went under recently like we had a video store up until like 2015 2016 in our town no joke and I, I freaking miss it so much I mean yeah, Jacob, most movies do lose money. But the thing is, is that you would think movies with A-list actors usually yeah. don't lose money. Well, you know? in, is it possible that by now it's reaped a profit? Because it's a very old movie and it's been on DVD and video. I mean, I'm, I'm sure by now, but that was what their box office sales were. Yeah. And the, So, like, they spent $6 million to make the movie. They made $5.1 million back. And then probably over the next few years, they sold DVDs, or at the time, no DVDs, but VHS yeah. and stuff like that. And then they probably had movie rights to, like, uh, television networks where they would play it on the TV network and stuff. Yeah. So I'm sure they made their money back to some extent. But but it was, like, not in the time that they would have wanted it. it. It was nowhere near probably what they expected. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, to be honest, I would, I personally, I mean, I would never look at Chuck Norris and be like, oh yeah, he's the one that's going to make me a million right now. Yeah, oh, he he's, would. this guy's okay. resistant to fire. This, if this I, is why he's screwing me up. If I put Chuck Norris in a movie, which I don't think I would, because I don't know how I would, but if you put Chuck Norris in a movie right now, I think you could make it. You could remake Walker, Texas Ranger, where he's actually got a walker. Oh God. I mean, oh my God. Oh my God. Remaking Walker, Texas Ranger wouldn't work unless you had somebody like Chuck Norris. They're doing that, you by know? the way, if you didn't know. Like you, I know, but you got to have somebody that people look at and think, that guy's a badass. Uh, In order. Sylvester Norris. Don't mo... Yeah, yeah like, you've already read that. Like, I went and watched that last Sylvester... Stone, the last Rambo movie. Yeah, Last Blood. Rambo, whichever one it was. It was Last Blood. But, yeah, that was... I mean, it was decent. I only I mean, watched the end of it, and the end of it's incredible. Like, my parents were watching it, and I was not in the mood. But uh, I, I came in towards the end, and the ending is incredibly badass. I would say the most, the best actor at the moment would be Tom Cruise. Tom Cruise? Like, at, at the, at to the moment. To replace Chuck yeah. Norris, though, as Walker, moment, Texas though. Ranger? No, no, I don't want him to replace Chuck Norris. I'm just saying... They were just saying, who would you two say is the best actor or most prominent oh, okay. actor at the moment? And I would, I would have to say actor. the most, the best actor and most prominent actor at the moment would have to be Tom Cruise. Because he is in the most movies of any other actor other yeah. than maybe The Rock. The Rock is probably in just <laughs> The Rock and Sha Shaquille O'Neal with his foot spray commercials and crap. But see, like, Shaq is in a bunch of fucking commercials, don't get me wrong. But yeah. movies, no. Isn't he going to be but, in the new Space Jam? <laughs> we, they haven't announced any of that yet. They don't know. Oh, I saw it <laughs> trending on Twitter. That's all that I know. I, I would say either Tom Cruise or The Rock, between the two of them. Yeah, they should replace easily. Michael Jordan. I mean, like, they they would easily... Oh, I'm not meaning in Space Jam. I'm just meaning those would be I, the two I most know, prominent actors I'm right just now. messing with you. Oh god! Oh, get the menu. They by far make, they they by far makes the most movies. But I mean, don't get me wrong. Mm -hmm. You're right, Jacob. The The Rock only plays himself. He doesn't yeah. play anybody else. I mean, so does Rock. Jim Carrey, and he was one of the highest paid actors in Hollywood for a long time. That's true. 
Yeah, I guess. I, I think know, actors I who do Cruise that are actually like really well liked typically because like you know exactly what to expect and you become a fan of the actor, not the character as well. Yeah, exactly. So well, it you makes you come back for every badass movie too. Yeah. You know what was the name of that freaking badass. rock movie where he tries to fight a militant group without using his guns at all? So he smashes people in the head with his shotgun the whole movie. I don't. I don't know which one that is, but it sounds like something The Rock would be part of. Yeah. I remember they tried to make Stone Cold Steve Austin into an action star for a while. and He could have totally been that he, like yeah. when he was at his peak yeah. of like the 1990s or something. Well, he, he like cut he, himself off from wrestling early as well. Like, yeah. he, he was going to be the big thing, and they wanted him to lose against, like, Kevin Nash or The Big Show or something in her match and he said no I won't do that and so he just left the WWE and I think by the time he came back he was still popular everyone loves Steve Austin but not as still popular. popular today yeah like he's, you know, he's like got freaking popular. CMT shows yeah I mean he's he's super freaking popular and he's he, but he once again He's not a guy who can be an actor. He's a guy yeah. that can play himself. Have you ever freaking watched his uh, podcast, by the way, or listened to it, rather? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I used to watch it sometimes. It's the funniest crap, because, like, it's it's Steve Austin as he's aging, and so rather than drinking a beer, he's like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to drink my sparkling water to that. Yeah. It's like, yeah, that it's... just makes me sad. Steve Austin can't I'm... drink beer anymore. I think Tom Cruise would probably be. Tom the Cruise best should actor. Sp- should play Stone Cold from now on. That'd be hilarious. <laughs> That'd be deeply awkward. I feel like Tom Cruise could do it though. <laughs> could he though? I I don't know. No, I always see not. Tom Cruise as this tiny flamboyant guy. Yeah, but not in his in his movies though. He plays these characters so well. But you know? he doesn't play like a rugged action hero. He plays more of a James no, Bond, not, in my opinion. He doesn't play a rugged. He plays a smart. Yeah, he plays more of a James Bond, in my opinion, if yeah. that makes sense. He does the Mission Impossible. Yeah. He does like, you know, he's he's more of like a, a smart guy. He's a, the suave, womanizing action right. hero. Exactly. That's what the... My, and, yeah. And then The Rock is the exact opposite. Yeah, I'm more of like a freaking... Uh, Terminator, Rambo, Arnold Schwarzenegger, like those are the action stars that I think are the coolest. Obviously I like the other style, but like those are the ones that I'm most like I I like the most, I guess. Yeah. Well they're more gristled. They got like that, you know, you you think of them as a literal badass. Yeah, and that's the thing. When I look at Tom Cruise, I know that he's like standing on an app on an apple box. (laughs) <laughs> in front of the freaking camera. He's like five foot nothing. He's well, don't get me wrong, I mean, he's built, but he's five foot like nothing. Jack, like Jack Reacher is a good movie, and I think of him as a badass in that movie, but you're right. I mean he's he's a badass but in a very different way. Because yeah. he's a smart badass. He's not a he's not a I'm gonna punch my fist through your face badass. He's not a I'm gonna rush in guns blazing into this mansion where they kidnap my daughter. Everyone's gonna miss and just shoot at the ground even though there's 34 people pointing shooting at me out in the open as I run across this it's broad... It's kind of like Keanu Reeves. Yeah. You know? Like, I don't... I look at Keanu Reeves and I go, he's not a giant of a man. Like, yeah. he's just a kind of smart guy, you know? He's got that intellect that keeps him alive. Dude, I look at Keanu Reeves and I think that he's a stoner. <laughs> like, that's oh, how I, like I think Rick, of him. That's the I character like he Gervais. plays. He's, he's a good comedian. Yeah, oh yeah, he's funny, but like, he, he see, like, he's known as just playing the bro dude in my eyes, like. Yeah, he kind of is known for playing the bro dude. Like, you can, that that is kind of his character. Yeah. What do Americans think of Ricky Gervais? I personally think he's hilarious. I've never watched his stand-up comedy before, but I loved watching him make fun of Hollywood actors Doesn't at the Golden Globes or whatever. Doesn't he have a stand-up in Grand Theft Auto 4, though? I didn't know that at all. I know yeah. uh, David Cross is in uh, Vice City as a random voice. 
But, I like David Cross. Yeah, I think I think Ricky Gervais is in GTA 4. Like, you can go and watch him at the comedy club. Four or five? Four. Really? Yeah, pretty sure. <laughs> Interesting. I need to play... Pretty sure I, you, go you on. You go to the comedy club and you could listen to Ricky Gervais do like a... It's like a 15-minute set or something. Yeah. I I really um my sense of humor is also super weird. I either like really edgy crap or I like really strange stuff a lot of the times. Like I like everything, but that's the stuff I gravitate towards. Like I like I was sitting in the living room watching Monty Python's Flying Circus a week ago while my parents were just getting annoyed in the other room like what the hell is wrong with these people? I'm like it's it's a joke, it's comedy. Monty Python's Flying Circus is hilarious, though. Yeah. I mean, any of the Monty Pythons are. They're just they're just hilarious. Yeah. My favorite is the uh, the freaking meaning of life and just how disturbing that one is. Yeah. My favorite is that uh, every sperm is sacred song. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Oh, my God. I played that. Uh, okay, so I invited my buddies over to my house. Uh, to hang out one time when we were kids. Well, we were like 15. Okay, and they hated my sense of humor because I was an absolute edgelord as a kid. Like, I tried... Wh I was the guy who tried to piss you off and bother you with my jokes. And I've kind of toned that down as I've gotten older because I've, I've experienced people who acted like me back then as well. And I'm like, yeah. oh, this guy's a douche. And I've kind of toned that back. <laughs> But I would, they stopped talking to me for a year in school because they didn't like my jokes. And then one day I invited them over just, it was kind of revenge, but it was also, also eager. It was eagerness. And so I showed them, we played some Soul Cal for a while. And then I showed them Monty Python's Meaning of Life. And one of my friends, they were, they had f hilarious mixed reactions to it. Because one of them was getting turned on when the naked ladies were on screen running by in thongs for the guy's, like, burial or his death or whatever. Right, yeah. And then they were getting r furiously angry at me between that. How the hell can I feasibly do this? Yes. I guess I gotta revive myself to make this crap work, dude. Because the thing is, I'm blocking this guy and he's kicking my spinked in, dude. Okay, there we go. Okay, give me that shield um yeah i had to this is what i mean when uh someone asked about pay to win you have to buy those things i just used to revive myself or you have to restart the match the game gives you a little a few of them but not enough and i don't think you auto heal very quick either it doesn't look like it's moving at all yeah, I think, like, the red meter filled up a little bit, like, the little bit that I had there. Come on. Let me just overkill him, or not. Okay, there we go. Well, Steven Seagal's at a level four now. Um, there's actually consumables along the path back here, so let me go back there. He's leveling up. Yep. Steven Seagal's getting stronger. <laughs> Yeah, soon he won't have to be in the direct to VHS movies anymore. What if Steven what Seagal was money. Dude, what if Steven Seagal was still making direct to VHS movies in 20 uh 2020? I mean, he just made a direct to DVD movie back in like 2017 or something. But was it on Blu-ray or Netflix or anything? Nah, well, oh uh, yeah, you're right. It was on Netflix. Okay, because um, that's the thing. If it's on Netflix, I wouldn't count it as straight to video anymore. Yeah, because they don't do direct to DVD movies anymore. But it was a Netflix movie. I, I, think, I think if you're a the, legacy user, they still give you that. Yeah, I mean, and Steven Seagal, he got his last like action hero movie. But I mean, he just it was decent. I wouldn't give it above two stars. Speaking of Last Action Heroes, you ever see that Arnold Schwarzenegger movie of that? Oh, yeah, that was a good movie. I liked the movie, but I feel like there's so much more they could have done with the concept of Arnold Schwarzenegger fighting people from the TV and escaping the TV as an action hero. Um, welcome to the stream, 
G Dots. How you doing, my dude? Sorry, I have to lean in because the text is really tiny on my monitor, and I got big old lights in my face. I don't have no lights in my face. Yeah, that is the one thing that I I that whenever I started streaming, that was the one thing that I was genuinely like not comfortable with was the lights and then i bought these lights and they have like nice diffusion like there's a diffuser in front of them and i can turn them down there's a fader on the back of them because like right. i used to use like literally big bright lamps and by the time i was done recording like i was miserable i was angry and irritable so like uh i don't think they're up anymore on the youtube channel but back in the day um I did a series on Crash Bandicoot as a VOD, and the first episode of the series was perfectly chill, and then the next one I was just in a pissed off mood, and then the third one I was so not into it, you could tell, I'm just like, oh, when is this going to be over? Because there was bright ble beaming lights in my eyes at all times. And they were it. They were also the kind of lights that make the room hot. So I was sweating, and I was like going blind slowly. I need yeah. to go see Henrik, my old mentor, to tell him that I'm epic. What's the matter, Henrik? Go and piss yourself. Well, well. I haven't seen you in a long time. Nice pee pee. Would you let Henrik touch your pee pee, Zach? Here's the funny thing. You're going to this guy named Heinrich. He's going to show you how to, like, you know, use a sword and stuff. After we've used it the whole game. <laughs> well, that's true. But it's funny, and he's like, I haven't seen you in a long time. It, it, it plays into this Steven Seagal thing so much because he was an Aikido black belt. I say was. He still is. But he's, a, he's an Aikido black belt, and it was about fighting with swords. Sick. <laughs> Dude, I say that about my computer. Like my computer, I know it's it doesn't get hot and it, it never gets it doesn't feel like it gets hot, but it heats my room up so much. Like my office yeah. space. My computer does the exact same to be honest. Quickly attack from the sides. But I gotta decorate my office space a little better. Dude, like, I, I hate like attacking the from the left side here, by the way. Like I I like the way this office looks, but I put I put so much work into trying to make it look good, and then I I don't really like it at all. Yeah. And now that I'm not trying to show off to anybody because I'm married and shit, you know, I can make it look however the fuck I want. Yeah. That's how you become the big moist Zach boy. Yeah. Yeah, I'm still like in this. I'm still in this phase, like you know, because I haven't really been married that long. Even though me and Cassie have been together like four years almost. Yeah, but I still I still have like this. I still have to show off, you know. Like Jacob says his PlayStation works as a as a radiator, dude. Imagine right. imagine your situation, but I've got this computer over here. I used to run that computer. You can't see it; it's off camera. I used to run a computer over there. I have four TVs in front of me, um, and I would run consoles at the same time, and then I've got like blankets hanging on the wall and behind me to to like absorb sound which also insulates the room and makes it colder or hotter whenever it is it's the worst it's better now don't get me wrong but it was it was the worst okay i got a steel dagger from that i guess man i heard like the the coolest thing what like one time and was it, it a guitar yeah, no, it was a guitar. It yeah, was 100 a guitar. <laughs> that's what I figured. Guitars are nice. Would you have sex with a guitar? Sure, why not? <laughs> I play guitar with my pee pee. How does the chat yeah, feel about that? Would the chat have sex with their guitar? Yeah, probably. I mean, By the way, welcome any new viewers. <laughs> if you're not followed, be sure to hit the follow button and subscribe if you. Anyways, we're talking about guitar sex right now. Yeah, you know. Nah, I want to update this office real bad. I just, yeah. like I said, I don't know when or how or why. Or Would you have sex with the office? Uh, not right now. I don't like the way it looks. 
Okay. <laughs> would you have se- whose office would you have sex with if you had the choice? I don't, I don't know because like the office has to be set up to the way I need it. Yeah. Right. So yeah. like right now, right now my wife's working from home. Yeah. And uh, I'm just like, we get we had to figure out a way to do this. So like we're back to back desk. So <laughs> I have my desk and then she has her desk. And we're just sitting back to back like all the time. Yeah. She's not working today, but like if she was working today, we'd be sitting back to back right now. And uh, then I had to move my arcade cabinets over to the one wall. And then I got that new arcade stick, which I'm going to make into another arcade (laughs) cabinet. So I'm like, you know, I got to figure out a way to. I got to figure out ways to fit all this in the office now that I have two desks in here. Yeah. I'd finger my guitar, play some sick jam, says Yo Yo. I used to actually yeah. play the guitar, and I have a strong bond with it, so no. Wait, if you have a strong bond with it, that's even better. You know, there's emotions yeah, connected to the your, your act of doing the stinkies a- upon it. Exactly, yeah. Yeah. He's got a point. Yeah, I do. I have several points. Yeah. Like, for example, what's the deal with airline food? Ha 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 ha! What's the deal with airline? What's the deal, dude? Jerry Seinfeld never even said that either. Apparently, oh, he never did. Oh, oh, you got you got a freaking problem with me, boy? You, you little little douchebag, facial hair? What's the matter? Don't want, don't want to kiss daddy? You want, you want to freaking go? <laughs> you want, you want to freaking scruff, boy? You want to fight? I was watching Twitch fails the other day, by the way, just a compilation of Twitch fails. And uh, there was one where this guy is IRL streaming at his buddy's house and his wife just randomly starts making out with him. Like the guy's wife who's hanging out with just out of nowhere. And making then out with somebody else. Huh? What? Making out with somebody else. She. Like okay. What? The guy is IRL streaming at his buddy's house. His buddy's wife just randomly starts making out with him out of nowhere. And they okay. assume their buddy's out of the room, but they're broadcasting it on the internet. So he comes in the room. He's like, get out of my house right now. He's like, what's the matter? He's like, I just saw you making out with her. Get out. And he's like, I don't know what you're t- talking about. Which, by the way, can I just say, before I continue like telling this thing, why do yeah. guys, whenever like their wives cheat on them, they immediately are also like... They're only blaming the other guy as if their wife didn't choose to screw them. I've it's, never understood that. Like, it's like so. Here's here's my thing. All yeah. right, and this is gonna sound weird because like maybe I just I think too hard. But like I've always thought like if somebody cheats on you, like I whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if someone cheated on me, it'd is be like weird? your stuff is on the porch. That's how I would think about it. Well, I'd just be like. Okay, you cheated on me. And they'd be like, Yeah, I did and I'd be like, I See, I wouldn't I'd be upset still, but I wouldn't like I wouldn't be upset. I'd just you know, like I'd ask Cassie, I'd be like, Alright, you cheat on me, like why? And she'd so, be like, Oh, I like that guy. So you're and saying like, it right, wouldn't so, like, break you your trust at all? I'd be like so so I'd be like, So are you leaving me or like what's going on? And you know, I'd wait. Jacob says he hates people getting fooled into saying the N word. What are you talking about? Not only, yeah, that doesn't sound like it'd be a good thing either. <laughs> but yeah, but like uh, this guy. But here's my thing. Like, yeah. here's, you turn it back on them. Like they cheat on you, and then you go, "All right, so like, are we done?" And they go, "Yeah." Well, if they say you're done, then you'd be like, "All right, cool," and then you go. <laughs> yeah. And then. And then they're like, and then you'd be like, so are we done? And they're like, no, I don't think so. And be like, okay, cool. You know? <laughs> and then you just roll on. And they'll be like, your wife cheated on you. And it'd be like, yeah, but she told me she doesn't want to break up with me. On so Twitch, like, people saying the N-word are a real know. deal breaker, says yo I, I just don't, that's, are you just referring to Twitch fails, uh, Jacob? Because that's just such a random thought. But, like, my thing is when guys, like, when their girlfriends cheat on them, they're always like, I'll kill you to the other guy, which, by the way. Yeah, I don't get that one neither. I, I, to be honest, I would. mad at the guy. Okay, yeah. yeah, I would be mad at the guy and her. It wouldn't, 
I wouldn't, my anger would not be selected towards him because she chose it. You know, yeah, like, nah. huh? I, I, I don't, I don't know. I just don't get it. I'm just like, what's the, why are you getting angry, man? Like, what do you got? What do you have to get angry for? <laughs> I don't know. Like, to me, that would be something to get angry about, to be honest. I don't see why, though. Like, think about it. It's not your body, it's their body, and they did it. So it's like, okay. So but I it's guess, a like, thing done, that's right? breaking your trust is my thing. It's not really breaking your trust. They do whatever they want. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's, yeah, It'd I don't like, know. I mean, like, what where, What trust? I don't have, I don't trust anybody. <laughs> I, okay. <laughs> Like, I don't trust anybody. I'm not, it's not like I got into the relationship going, like, my wife will never leave me. I trust her 100%. Fuck no. Why would I do that? I don't know. I don't trust that... her to pay the bills. Right? I, you know, honestly, this is one thing where I just don't see it that way. I don't think I'm like, capable think, of, think it. of it. like this. Like, I've. If somebody was like, I'm going to pay all the bills, you never worry about it. Would you trust them? Uh, it you depends on them. if I think they had the means, but probably not. Yeah, I mean, like, I, here's my thing. Like, my wife tells me, she's, she told me that she was like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pay all the bills. You don't have to worry about it. I still don't trust her to pay all the bills. I always ask. I always check. I'm like, did you pay that bill? And she's like, oh, I forgot. I'm like, see, this is why. <laughs> this is why. I don't know. I just don't see. The thing is, like, I just wouldn't date someone if, like, I feel like that's a thing that's between you and your wife, it, like, sex is. So, to me, it would just bother me too much. If I get cheated but, on, I wouldn't want to speak. Exactly. I'd be angry at both of them. It wouldn't be like, she's a victim and you tricked her. It's like, women no, are adults. Yeah, like, women are adults. They That's can the make thing, decisions. Like, you're like, they, you know, you didn't. Nobody tricked anybody into anything. That, that's what's weird as hell to me right now. Is we're at a time in history where everyone's screaming about equality, but they selectively choose to view other people as like victims when it benefits. Well, not even when it benefits. Just in weird scenarios, like if a woman does something wrong, like she cheats on her husband it's not that the other guy was a trickster and he was he, he it's his fault it's like your wife was a whore <laughs> just to be real with you your wife was a dumb whore and she cheated on you you know what i mean My thing is like I, I never i don't know like i never understand like, i, I mean i believe in personal somebody, like, just go, go on like like if you're gonna go cheat on somebody why not just go tell the fucking person like hey i'm going to go cheat on you I mean, I would say just break up with the person or divorce them if you're going to do that. Okay, that's, we'll fucking do that too. Yeah. All like, right. That's what I would get at. Like That's what I'm saying. Like, if my wife cheated on me, I'd just be like, so are we done? But the and thing that be, confuses me is the, like, the no, nonchalant question is I wouldn't... If she said no, we're not, I'd be like, yeah, we are if it were me. Well, like, that's the thing. If she said no, we're not, I'd be like, okay, so like, what are we doing now? Like, <laughs> why, why didn't you tell me like this before yeah and she'd be like you're weird and i'm like <laughs> i don't think i'm weird i think i'm the one that's trying to figure out what the fuck you're doing because you're the weird one like you couldn't come and talk to me about the fact you wanted to cheat on me so obviously you're a shitty fucking human being okay just, now i get where you're coming from because <laughs> from my point of view it sounded like you were just nonchalantly asking her in this hypothetical scenario like, nah. do you want to keep d being together? That's what I was so confused by, and I'm like, I can't see it that way. Well, like, if that person was like, yes, I want to keep being together, then I would have been like, well, why didn't you just fucking tell me that before you went and cheated on me? Yeah. And been like, oh, I don't know. And I'd be like, well, then you're just a dumbass. <laughs> like, you're just a fucking dumbass, because, like, we probably could have made this work, man. Like, I like <laughs> the idea of a threesome. Like, we could have... <laughs> Like, come on, at least just talk to me about it, you know? Like, that's all it takes. You don't have to say much. Yeah. All you would have had to be like, been like, listen, I like Greg next door. I really like Greg next door. And I've been like, you know what? I like Greg, too. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't do that personally, but that would be your choice. 
<laughs> like why don't why don't you ask you know oh my and god i would like, never hey, i would never like, be able to do that they'd be that like would... i like john and i'd be like you know what i don't really like john so if you're gonna go cheat on me with john <laughs> I, then you're gonna have to leave me for john because like i'm not staying with john dude see i just don't see things like that i could never do anything like that personally you gotta roll with the punches i mean i would i would roll with the <laughs> divorce papers <laughs> yeah but you're gonna lose half your money in Texas, normally you don't. Yeah, you it, will. It depends on what you sign when you get married, nah, I thought. Man, you're going to lose half your money. Everyone I know who's got divorced, the only time they lose their money is when they pay child support. You won't pay alimony for the rest of your life? No. Like, that doesn't happen as much in Texas, genuinely. No one I know who's divorced pays alimony. If they have kids, they're forced to pay child support, and that is their alimony. Yeah, well, child support makes sense. Alimony don't make sense. Yeah, like I said, like that's exactly that feeds into what I was talking about earlier. Like we selectively view women as like these people who can't help themselves, but then that's we what cry me and my about. Wife always talk about. Yeah, uh, I was like, me and my wife hate the idea of alimony. I was like, because that means that women are incapable of taking care of. Themselves. Exactly. That's why it drives me so crazy. But that's Jenny, why I will not treat women like. They're equal until there's no more alimony. I'll treat them like they're <laughs> equal, but if I ever got married no, and my wife no, was, no, and the, the prenuptial be. agreement was about alim involved alimony, I'm like, nah, nope. that's okay. No, um, they can't be. I'm sorry. I will treat you equal for the rest of your life, <laughs> but since alimony is is a thing, no, nope, we're not equal. You're weaker than me, according to the government. Jacob says, uh, organize a threesome, question mark. <laughs> Crayoyo says, yeah. just between us, <laughs> Greg gets me hot. John, not so yeah, much. Know, right? <laughs> but, like, you know, I'm like, listen, I said, I'm not the... I'm not the sexist one. I said the government says you're weaker than me. That's I, I mean, you. I agree with that. what you're saying, generally. I just <laughs> wouldn't say it in that way. No, I would. You gotta be blunt about this shit. Like, well, I wouldn't say it on weak. my Twitch broadcast in that way is what I mean. Why not? I mean, like, it's not like people don't agree with it. I it's know. like they're like, you know what? Yeah, that's kind of what the government's saying. The government says I, you're really weak and you can't take care of yourself. I don't understand it. That sounds like something that was set up in the 1950s or the 20s. It was. When Yeah. <laughs> literally, like, why? It's literally, it's also a thing where, like, everyone wants equality, but then they want, like, they want no, everything I'm both ways. For equality. Yeah, that's I am why too. I'm saying. I am that's too. Why, that's why me and my wife go. I'm like, and she'll be like, you know, equality, and I'm like, yeah, absolutely, I 100 <laughs> agree. And she's like, she'll yeah. just say she's the like, word equality. Y'all have. No, I mean, she doesn't say it like that, but like we had a conversation with like a family friend, and uh, she was talking about like equality and stuff, and I was like, you know, I 100 percent agree with you. I was like, I'm sorry, the government doesn't like you though. And she was like, what do you mean? And I'm like, the government thinks you're a piece of shit and you can't take care of yourself. So, you know, maybe they're right. You know, who knows? <laughs> maybe they <laughs> and she's like, that's not very nice. And I'm like, well, I didn't say it. The government did, man. <laughs> yeah. The government well, thinks you're incapable you, of taking care of yourself. And you you want to you know, know how they do alimony in Texas, actually. They don't do it as alimony, typically, unless you have, like, a prenuptial agreement that no, involves that. They'll do that. it as alimony if you make over a certain amount of money. Maybe, but what, what I have been told, like, a lot of the people that I know have to pay child support, it's literally called child support, even though they have grown-ass adult children, but they had them with their wife, and they divorced their wife yeah. after the kids were out, so they're like, and this Jacob is basically alimony. That's what it is. Well, like, uh, uh, Jack has a point, because Adele just had to pay her husband, like, $50 million because of alimony. Because yeah. she's the breadwinner of the family. Yeah. I mean, I you don't know? think it should go that way either way. I think, like, no, you're, if you're a fair. grown like, adult... He shouldn't, be, he shouldn't be getting $50 million because she made a bunch of money. Well, well, also, think about it like this as well. Like, imagine you're a dude who is paying for everything. You got a nice house. You got a nice car. You're paying to keep your wife healthy and happy. Then she cheats on you divorces you and then you have to pay ask, for that house that the other guy lives in with her now with the right. kids with your kids exactly no you got a point yeah like that's why it's not equal yeah that's why it's incredibly it up. would be it would be equal if we just cut that fucking alimony out 
Yeah, we but then people would pretend to be a victim in a different way. They'd be like, no. Okay, they fine. Let them, that's fine. Let them be a victim in a different way. But the Dude, alimony's gone. So I, I got care. into the weirdest. This was a long, long time ago. I remember getting into the because weirdest no, political debate on a... Because I'm sure no woman out there yeah. wants to pay their deadbeat husband. Yeah. And neither does no, any... None of them do. The, neither does any man. That's the fascinating thing. Right. No, no, no woman would want to have to pay her deadbeat husband. Let's say she's making $175,000 a year and he yeah. makes nothing because he's never worked a day in his life. And there's a lot of fucking guys out there like that. Yeah. You know, there's a fuck ton of them. And she wouldn't want to have to pay him, you know, $60,000 a year because he, he doesn't want to work, which is the way the alimony system is set up right now is that she would just have to pay him money. Yeah. To take care of him because he's incapable of taking care of himself. Yeah. Which is, if, if he's incapable of taking care of himself, then just let him die. I appreciate the way that you're putting that. Well, I'm just saying, like, if he's incapable, I guess just let him die, man. Yeah. He just said he was incapable of taking care of himself. Well, I mean, he's the, my thing is, like, it's not really your ex-spouse's job to ensure that at that point anyways. Nah, it's, it's just old government systems in place. It yeah, and happen. it's things that people wouldn't want to change either. Cause they're, it's things people wouldn't want to change, like my mother, for example. She's well, 100% for the idea of alimony. Yeah. She, she likes it. She's like, no, she's like, I had to put up with so-and-so for this many years. But she's, I mean, she's not getting any alimony, but she's yeah. like, that person had to put up with that person for 20 years. They deserve half the money. I was like, are you hearing yourself? I'm like, they put up with somebody? I'm like, I put up with the fucking government, but they don't owe me money. Yeah, like, that's <laughs> also, like, it's on, to be real with you, it's also on you if you put up, quote unquote, with someone for an insanely long time. Yeah, it's right. your fault. You're an adult. Right. You can leave anytime you want. I'm going to I'm going to put up with somebody for 20 years and then say I I want half your money because I put up with you for 20 years. He's like, "What does that even mean?" <laughs> yeah. You know? It's such a weird way to put it, to be honest. I'm thinking about going to my father and being like, "Listen, I put up with you for 18 years, all right? You owe me money." <laughs> Dude, my dad, like, my dad used to actually he didn't do it for that reason, but Whenever I'd see my dad for, like, a span of a year, I don't know if he got, like, a better job at that time or what, but I would see him for, like, when I was 17 years old, every time I saw my dad, he would hand me, like, 40 bucks or something. He'd be like, Bubba, you got any pocket money? And I'm like, no, here. And I'm like, what the hell? Cool, but what? I don't understand. Pocket change, man. I, I didn't understand, like, because, like, to me, $40 is not pocket money. To me, it's, like, 10 to 15 maybe 20 But I wasn't going to argue with him either at that time. I was, like, 17, man, and pocket, I didn't have... Pocket money used to mean something, man. It still means something to me. Yeah, but, I mean, like, like, back in the day, like, if you had some money in your pocket, that meant something. Yeah. Nowadays, you have money in your pocket, you're just going to get robbed. <laughs> but, like... <laughs> that's, I mean, that's true. Like, but... But back in the day, like a guy carrying money around in his pocket, that was that was a sign of. <laughs> well, I mean, also if you take out your money and you freaking like flash it around, of course you're gonna get robbed. Oh yeah, if yeah. People know how around. much money you've got. Yeah, no. It, nowadays we carry everything on plastic. Yeah. So I do. I don't carry cash ever. It depends for I've, me. I don't think I've seen cash in probably... Dude, when I had a job, I always got a paper check and just went and cashed it. And oh, so... I, don't cash, I always put mine in the bank. Direct deposit. Yeah. I had I had a really weird freaking bank account set up at the time. To be honest. And it was... Uh, I might Actually, I still kind of have that problem. My bank literally Wait. won't let me have a debit card. <laughs> Because it's well, connected to debit card. it's connected to one of my relatives' accounts from when uh, I was I get a kid. What you're saying. So you have one of those like combined accounts. You have a combined account. Yeah. I understand that. Okay. Well, here's the really here's, here's the things that here's the thing that confuses the hell out of me though. 
I used to have a debit card. <laughs> and then just one day they're like, no, 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 you're not allowed to have one Let's anymore. Get a new bank account. I, I've, because I can't drive and I've literally asked my family, like, please, for the well, love of you, God, take me to, to the drive? bank. You could do it. You could do it online. Can you do that? Yeah, you can do it online. You can set up an entire bank account online now? You can now? call and just have them set it up over the phone. Okay, I need to do that then, because I still I still use the account that's connected to my family members. Like, seriously, you could probably just call yeah. and set up a bank account over the phone, especially right now with this whole COVID going on. And shit. Yeah. Like, you could literally set one up over the phone. They might ask you to send in, like, you know, social security number or something like yeah. that. Or, but, I mean, seriously, like, you could just get one set up over the phone and then just transfer all your money from the other bank account and then get yourself a debit card and shit. For, man, I really need that because, like, it's, it, it was just so annoying. Like, I used to have a debit card on my account. Up, Nathan. Huh? I will, I, my goal is to have you in... A three-bedroom, two-bath house in the next two years. <laughs> that is my goal, all right? I have set this goal out for myself, and I'm going to get you there. I don't know how I'm going to do it, but I'm going to get you there. Okay, Papa Zach. <laughs> I'm going to get you in a three-bedroom, two-bath house in the next two years, damn it. 16-bedroom, 34-bath. Got it. Yeah, 16-bedroom, 34-bath. Yeah. Yes. I don't even have that, but, you know, whatever. Dude, that'd be, wouldn't that basically just be like a small mansion? I mean, sixteen bedrooms and thirty-two baths. That'd be the ugliest fucking mansion I've ever seen. Dude, I would love. I would. I would. You know what? Just to be weird, I would love to have a massive house that just has like. You'd have more bathrooms. Literally, Disney World has trash cans. Dude, no joke. If I legitimately had a mansion, I would love it solely because I would. I would go to the bathroom in a different corner of the mansion every day. Or be every honest, once you get over like five bedrooms though, what the fuck do you do with the space? I've thought about that so much. I've talked about that on stream. Like, what do you do if you have a mansion? Like, well, I mean, what what could you possibly be storing in a hundred rooms? Well, that's the thing. Like me and me and my wife right now, we're talking because we just got this house, right? And you're gonna and, buy uh, a mansion next? Nah, we can't buy a mansion right now. But like, some let's say sometime down the line, we're able to purchase something real big. You know, I don't think I'd want it. Yeah. And and the reason is that like, what the fuck do we do with all the space? Uh, if you ever have kids, that would I think that's the value in that uh, kind of house. We ain't have no kids. Yeah. Well, also we ain't, we ain't like people no kids, talk so. about rich people being so happy, but like, imagine the stresses that go with having money and having to like manage a large oh, number oh. of staff in your house. Here's here's, here's the thing. Like having lots of money, I don't. I don't think that's what. I don't think that's what messes with people. I think it's they have a lot of money, but they also have tons of fucking debt on top of them. Yeah. Well, because they're bad with their money. Yeah, you know John Wayne back in the day actually went bankrupt like three times or something. Oh yeah, because people are just so bad with their money. Well, it's because they're a just- lot of times people who get that kind of money are just people like. Like actors who never thought they would make it. So then they get right. money and they're like, what the hell do I do with this? I guess yeah. I'll buy well, all I mean, the stuff like, I ever wanted right now. It's like Shaq when he got his very... He talked about this one time. I saw that at talking, one point. He immediately he bought about, a nice, jewel, nice jewelry and a car and yeah, bought a car bought for his himself, family. He bought himself like a Rolls Royce and then... Uh, yeah. He drove it to his mom's house and she was like, I really like one. So he went and bought her another Rolls Royce. I like how his, by the way, just to be real with you, I like how his mom's first response was, I want one. Yeah. Like, Like, he bought one, and then, like, literally right after that, he bought his mom one, and then he bought, like, a friend one. And, but then he didn't realize he got paid, like, a million dollars, right? Yeah. He had to pay taxes on a million dollars. He didn't understand that. So, they took the taxes out, and then they were like, yeah, you don't even have enough money to afford this car. And so then they, he had to default. He filed for bankruptcy literally like after a month of being a basketball player. You know what happened? The, something like that happened to MC Hammer as well. He went broke because he got famous. And not only just because his music fell off style, he got famous. And then he, uh, you know how you're always like, if I ever get famous, I'm going to get all my friends a job. Or I'm going to do this. Or, Hell no, I'm not. 
I'm not getting all my. You know how people them. say that, though. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I know what I know. They say that shit. That's literally what happened to um, MC Hammer. Was he literally found a job for every single one of his friends? He purposely hired them to do crap that they he didn't need anyone to really do. Yeah. And oh, so he was dumb. paying a staff of his friends constantly until he went bankrupt. And also his no, music he, he, fell out of style, so it's not like he can just pop out another album. See, and that's the thing. Like, these people, they have to be real careful with their debt. Because, yeah. for example, let's say I've got, let's say I have $10 million. Yeah. Well, I don't, let's, or let's say you're a musician. And yeah. And you know your album is selling really well, right? Yeah. And you get that first royalty check and it's a million dollars. Get that first royalty check because your album is selling really well, so you got a million bucks in your pocket. And you know your album's going to sell pretty well for the next, like, month. So you know you're probably going to get another royalty check in a month for a million dollars. So you go buy a $2 million home. But the problem is, is that you have you buy a $2 million home, you didn't have $2 million. You know? Yeah. You might have a net worth of $2 million because you've got a million in your bank. Yeah. And they're going to give you a loan for the other million. The problem is, let's say next month your royalty check's only six hundred thousand. Yeah. And then the next month it's two hundred thousand. And then the next month it's fifty thousand. Yeah, that's and the thing about like, stuff oh, like that is it's not entirely consistent either. Yeah, and it's like, oh fuck, you know, I've ruined myself because I've taken on this debt of a million dollars for this home, and I'm not even making enough money to pay it off now. Yeah. And fucking celebrities do that all the time. It's like I said, these people d have never had money in their life. And imagine going from nothing to everything all at once. Yeah, that's why you, you don't want to build up that fast. You want to do a slow burn. Yeah. You want to you take it real slow. Everything is a slow, methodical process. Yeah. And well, like people just, are scared of doing that in life these days as well. They're like, I want everything right now. Yeah, they're they're afraid that if it if you take it slow, you'll be you'll forgotten or something, you'll or you'll be miss out. You'll miss out on your opportunity. And the thing is, yeah. no, if you do it slow, you never miss out because you're constantly growing, you big dingus. Dude, as someone who's a Twitch streamer, I've I've freaking seen this sort of thing so much as well, where people yeah, just somebody gets popular for a little bit of time and then they fizzle out. Yeah, and people are way too scared to take anything slow on Twitch, but it's like, all the content creators who take things slowly, those they're the ones doing the best. They're the ones who last the longest and who do the best because they're not writing trends crazily. Yeah, because trends don't set the person. It's the creator that does. The trends don't it's set the person, and also, like... Trends by nature die out like, quickly. So if you're known for a way trend, to look at it. Yeah. let's look at Ninja. Yeah. Okay. Let's look at him. He got really, really popular because of Fortnite. Yeah. Right. And now he is stuck playing Fortnite. And the thing is, is yeah. the game is starting to detrend. Yeah. He's in a position where he's not getting as many views. And then he switched to Mixer, which really hurt him. Well, I think in, terms, he, of viewership, in terms of viewership, I think they paid him a lot to do that, though. Well, that's the thing. They pay, they're they paying him upfront salary Yeah. while they're just collecting all the money that he's making. Oh, is that true? Are they paying him well, straight I'm up salary? Well, I'm not 100% sure on the contract, but I would basically go out on a limb saying that's how it's done. I've seen all kinds that, of weird theories that say he was, like, given a bunch of money up front, like oh, millions believe, and millions and millions. I would believe that he was given money up front and that they pay him a monthly salary. Yeah. Or, and, and the reason is that they're like, listen, we will pay you a million dollars and we will collect all of your subs and we will collect all of your stuff, right? Yeah. So, like, they just keep all the sub money, and they keep all the advertising money for themselves. They also in gave the away free subs at first just to, like, get people exactly. in that ecosystem exactly. where they're already That's subbing. Saying. That's why I think they gave away the free subs is yeah. the idea, like, hey, if we give away some free subs, we can, next month, we might be able, we're, we're going to pay him a million dollars. Or five hundred thousand, or whatever they're paying him a month, and they'll be like, "We're paying him five hundred thousand. We could make a million and a half off these subs, so we'll 
make a million and a half off the subs and we'll just pay him his five hundred thousand dollars it's, it's also i kept hearing people like quoting statistics about ninja stream when he first moved over it's a really good way to buff the numbers up as well so like he moved oh, yeah. over and immediately had tons of subs because they're giving them away for free and people were quoting that like look at how many subs he gets we should go to mixer yeah, but that's, that's the first fucking day you know? it's the like, first day and it's all free so no one had to pay for that yeah, no one's got to pay. It's just kind of like, it's like Elon Musk with his Tesla truck, the cyber truck. Yeah. And you only have to pay $100 to pre-order the cyber truck. We know what the fucking reason was, because since it's only $100. You're going to have to pay for the gonna, rest of the truck. You're going to have to pay for the rest at the end. He yeah. knew if it was only $100 and it was completely refundable, that yeah. he would get thousands and thousands of people to pre-order the fucking truck and then he could take it to a bank and be like listen we've got 17,000 pre-orders yeah. for this fucking truck and we he, need your loan to build the truck yeah i mean elon musk is not a dumb guy he knows what he's doing when he does crap like that it's fu it's not dumb he's doing it in a smart way but i, I can tell you this i don't think elon musk is really a, a lot of people like to say oh he's this great genius and i don't really think he is yeah. I hear him talking. I don't. I just don't believe he really. He really is as as smart as people give him credit for. I mean, maybe it's a. I don't. I don't even think he would say he's as smart as people yeah. give him credit for either. I so. think that he's very smart, and I don't know if I'd call him a genius though. I think he's just a guy who likes to innovate and come up with new ideas that people don't want to do. Yeah, like for example. People were saying, like, oh, if you just well, heard he's that, crazy. by the way, I just killed a spider, so. Oh, you're good. But, uh, so, he, people were like, you know, he's he's creating a way to go to Mars and we're going to colonize Mars. Uh, that's like, never going to really happen, cool. ever. Right, I know. But uh, they're, they're like, you know, that's that's a genius right there. And I'm like, wait that's, a second. To me, oh, that's yeah. an idiot. Like, that, that doesn't sound like a genius. I'm like, that sounds like a guy who, who wants to do something and he'll probably do it. Don't get me wrong. He'll get people to Mars at some point. And they'll the die. Yeah. I'm like, but the idea of colonizing Mars, I'm like, who yeah. the fuck would want to live on Mars? Who I mean, wants to live there? Also, a lot Anybody? of these, honestly, like real talk, a lot of these people that folks claim are geniuses, they're people... <laughs> They're people who pay other people to design shit for them. Yeah, like exactly. everyone thought Steve Jobs was such a such a revolutionary and such a genius. And to a degree, he, in the early days, he did design a lot of stuff. He worked at IBM and he worked, I think, at Atari. And he did a lot of yeah. legitimate intelligent work. He's not an idiot. He wasn't dumb. And he was smart. But essentially, all he did was walk in the room and say, I want this thing to be made and they're like yes right. we'll do it because we want to keep and our jobs of, yeah and then a bunch of geniuses basically figured out how to do it yeah lots of people want to live on mars says yo yo weird people I mean, don't get me wrong. I mean there's probably some people who want to live on mars but the thing is once they do live on mars they're gonna be like uh fuck this i don't want to live on mars anymore. yeah it's one Good. of those things that people want to be like the first martian it sounds cool on paper and then yeah, in reality, it it's cool, going to be like, the worst thing they've ever done. Absolutely, because there's not a fucking McDonald's on Mars. <laughs> I can't get a McDouble here. <laughs> They'll be like, wait a second, how do I get to Walmart? Dude, there my freaking, Walmart. my sister lived in like Minnesota for like a couple years with her uh, her ex-fiance as a, uh, when right. I was a kid. And literally, she left her dogs with my dad at his house, and he reached a point where he was like, she was like, I need to see my dogs. It's driving me crazy. And he was like, I'm sick of taking care of these dogs. So my dad had me kind of be the navigator and just like read the map for him while he drove. We met in the middle and kind of went to like Missouri or some crap. And when she was there, like, she was only away from the state of Texas for, like, two years. And she's like, oh, my God, I haven't had Taco Bell. And I haven't had KFC in so many years. And it's driving me insane. Imagine being on Mars. Right. Well, and that's what I'm saying. And Yo-Yo is, is bringing up a good point. The whole idea is to make it livable like Earth. And the thing is, yeah, okay, but you can't make Mars livable like Earth. 
You can make it. You, know? you could probably find an artificial method, but then if those systems yeah. break down, like real life is not Star Trek. That's one thing is a lot of people like want real life to be like a movie. I don't want Star Trek to be reality. Like, I mean, you could. I'm sure you could find some way to make Mars livable in some aspect. But also, don't forget that it gets so fucking cold there, you would just freeze to death anyway. Yeah. Like, fix that fucking problem first, you know? Like, <laughs> you can get we, one of those. A, you know those little floor we, heaters you buy at Walmart that when you that kick them work, <laughs> when you kick them over, they kind of turn off, you know what I'm talking about? I mean, I get what you're saying, but I don't think that one's going to work. No, no, we can we can buy 6 trillion of them with Elon Musk money. <laughs> right. <laughs> we can heat the entire planet of Mars with like those 30, I mean, 40 me, dollar heaters. Be cool to have the idea of like living on mars it's people but who want to sound forget, cool but Dude, also don't forget how long it's going to take you to get to mars i've got a friend who's like, like a really eccentric guy he's like like a 48 hour you yeah. know drive okay it's like a year <laughs> i've got a friend who's who's a mormon and he's like this super eccentric guy right Right. And he've got some random phishing email that said it's from NASA. This is not a joke. He oh, got geez. a phishing email that said it's from NASA and asking him if he wants to buy a ticket to live on Mars. And he signed it. He did it. And then he posted it on Facebook. He's like, and people were like, what the hell is wrong with you, Chris? And he's like, well, I just figure if it is true, I want to be on Mars. I'm like, what are you talking about? Yep, no, you. I doubt you do. Like, he's he was homeschooled half of his life, and then he moved to the school that I went to. So he's he doesn't know when his ideas are the worst. Like he gave them some kind of info about himself. They didn't ask for like financial stuff, but I bet he was hacked from that crap or something. Probably. And then, like, because he's getting sick of Facebook, he started this campaign on Facebook to move to, like, what the hell is the name of that platform? Let me literally read my DMs with him. He invited me to join him there, and I'm like, I've... Wait, I like use some other thing that's not Facebook? <laughs> okay, here's, like here's like what Facebook. it is. Okay, here's two. Two of me and my buddy Chris, who, by the way, I love. One of my best friends. He's a weirdo, okay? Here's one of our... One of our uh, convos, and then I'll read the one about about um, the website, okay? He shared some petition about Nancy Pelosi. A, like, petition to, about, like... Uh, to her ban or her or something? Like, I don't know. She's a politician. I don't think I want to ban her. And then this was my reply to him. I said, lol, not a fan of hers, but I don't sign petitions because it seems like they tend to not make a difference. He said, really Lamau, I knew you were going to say that word for word somehow. I said, well, we have been friends for many years. Then he just shared a random link. Come join MeWe. It's the only social network built on trust, control, and love. And then he shared his profile, which I won't read. And then I said, I have a profile on Minds, but I, I've never used this. And that's that's our conversation. Like, he... He he's just an eccentric guy, and he he has the he has these very grand ideas in his head. One time, he asked me to make a YouTube video for him that was of him building a medieval cannon. He wanted me to be the video producer for that because I'm the only guy he knew who knows who can edit and do that stuff, who has experience with go. that. And I I, I kind of was being what was that? I, I just said, well, there you go. Yeah. I was trying to be nice to him and be cool, and I'm like, oh, you know, okay, sure, sounds like an idea. I'm trying not to just be like, that is the dumbest idea I've ever heard in my life. And then he's, like, giving me all these plans that don't make sense. He's like, see, here's what we're going to do, and he's listing, listing all this, like, material that he's not going to be able to make a cannon out of. <laughs> he's, like, trying to make a black powder cannon. And I'm like, right. I don't really think it's safe. I don't want to, like, make a reality show with you, Chris, because, like, I love you, and you're, again, you're one of my buddies, but, like, I don't, first of all, if you're trying to make explosives, that's not legal. I don't well, think no, we can. I think, I think you can make a black powder. I, I think Probably. it's possible. I would just have to look up, because, 
like the area that we're in and what what's legal and what we could do so i'm thinking right. every time i've done a video project with anyone i sit there and i i kind of make them upset because i i tell them all the legal liabilities and all the things that are wrong the same shit i totally understand where you're coming and people from. get all like upset like <laughs> no it doesn't matter no one's ever gonna notice that you, we used a song by the spice girls and it's like yeah they will like, you know how many people have come to me and be like, I want to do this with CGN. Yeah. And I'm like, that's against the law. Exactly. And they're like, and they're like it doesn't matter. Nobody's going to know. That's like, the thing. I it's fucking no. You big dingus. There's also <laughs> outlier situations where people do find out. Also, if you, if I ever want to grow my platform on YouTube or Twitch and actually want to be partnered or whatever... I can't really have this random ass video of me building a fucking cannon up there. I mean, you could. I mean, I mean people would probably be like, "Hey, that's kind of cool." It, they would cannon. think it's cool, but what I'm saying is, if I'm doing something illegal, I don't want that out there. Which I wouldn't do, but you know what I mean. Yeah. It's like that would be a thing that I shouldn't do. I feel like that would be something though that wouldn't hurt you in any way. It was just a situation where he but was it is, telling me. It is silly. He was telling me this weird grand idea. This wasn't when we were teenagers either. This was like a couple years out of high school, like three or four years out of high school. And he's like, he sends me all these ideas and I tell him like, what, the, what did I tell him? I was just like, I don't know about that at a certain point. He's like, oh, that's fine. And he just called it off. Yeah. I, did. I don't know. I don't all know. I know is that I sit at home. <laughs> I, I do too. Yesterday, that's all I know. Like I said, I literally went on my first walk in forever, like today. Man, like I want to go on a walk, but like I don't want to walk down the fucking road because yeah. there's no sidewalk. Yeah. So the awkward thing for me is like when I walk, I'm like awkward with complete strangers. And so, like, I make them uncomfortable by trying to not make them uncomfortable, for example. I'll try too hard to not look suspicious and look suspicious. If you know yeah, what I like, mean. Uh, no, I get what you're saying. Like, I, you try and blend in, but by trying to blend in, you look even more yeah. out of touch. Yeah. Like, for example, like, because we've got this whole COVID thing going on, I'm trying to stay six feet apart from people. I was walking down the sidewalk, and then there were some kids playing to the right of me in their yard. So then I walk off the sidewalk to, like, the edge of the road, like, towards the middle-ish. So you, right, so you seem even more weird. Yeah, I seem even more weird. <laughs> and the thing is, I also make a couple laps. So then they're looking at you being like, does that guy got the COVID? Well, no, here's yeah. the thing. I also walk <laughs> laps around the block, and I've noticed a lot of people get uncomfortable when you loop around their house twice in a row. So, like, these kids right. were out there playing in their yard, and the first time I walk around, they just continue playing. And the second time I walk around, I did the exact same thing. I get off of the concrete and get, well, I get off the sidewalk onto the middle-ish of the road. Because they got, they were like, parked at the curb and everything, so I have to walk to the middle a little bit. And then I see the kids all be like, here, let's go put up our bicycles or whatever. And I'm like, oh, this feels horrible. They're, like, creeped out by me, I think, unless I'm overthinking it. Because this random-ass stranger's loop by their house twice now. I don't know. You think Man, I was I overthinking people, that I one? I got people on my property all the time, and I'm just like, whatever. Yeah. I wonder if I'm overthinking again, I don't, things I don't like that. people know what the property, what our property actually is. Yeah. You know? Like, they're just, they they see the house, but they don't know how much land there actually is. So they just start walking across our field. And I'm like, what are they doing? <laughs> yeah. And I'll just be like, I don't worry about them. They'll be all right. They don't know. You watch uh, Dave Chappelle's new special a while back? I've seen it, yeah. He has an entire bit about some random, like, white guy with a shotgun walking across his property. And he just kind of waves to him. Yeah, I mean, like, you have... I, I have that same scenario, like, just going on all With the time. With a gun, though? I mean, I've seen people, they hunt on our property because they don't know that it's ours. Uh. And I've had to tell people, I'll, I'll be... I mean, I don't want to tell them too much, but I'll be yeah. like, after they're done anyway, I'll be like, hey, man, you've been hunting on my property. And yeah. they'll be like, oh, I didn't know this was yours. And I'll be like, 
yeah, it's mine, and I don't care. Just, you know, next time, ask me. Yeah. <laughs> And that's perfect. That's like a reasonable way to do it. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of people that'd be like, stay away from my property. I mean, I don't want to be a dick to somebody if they want to hunt, you know, and they thought the area was just like open area. Fine, you know, I get that. But I'm going to just be like, listen, I don't even care if you do, but just ask next time. All right. Because usually just by saying that, they, you know, they're not going to tell their friends to come hunt there. Or yeah. Something, oh, my know, God. So the turning's really good now for some reason. Oh, it's maybe get What's worse, up, though. Everybody? How's it going? What's up, Shadow Wolf? How you feeling, my dude? Feeling a lot better now. I have all those stomach problems. Oh, was it, did you feel that way on a Friday? Yeah, I was feeling that way on Friday, but it's going a little bit better. Okay, I was wondering about that because I never wanted to say anything on the air on Friday, but you seemed a little, like, not off, but, like, kind of irritable or irritated about something. Not us, but... Oh, uh, no, that was still on my uh, computer. Okay, yeah. I wanted to ask at the time, yeah, but I, was... I figured if you were mad at us for something or if you were mad about something, I didn't want to, like, set you off or anything. Not that you uh, are that kind of guy, but you know my what I mean. Computer fully crept out on me. Yeah. Like my CPU is literally not doing anything now. Yeah, that's like, no good. I booted up it automatically goes 100. Starting to go, man. Yeah. Yeah, I gotta get new ones. Go. You know. Yeah. So anyway, so but yeah, uh, today my stuff or yesterday my stuff it started acting up. Yeah. So. You gotta show your stomach who's boss, dude. You gotta tear your stomach out and use it as a trophy. That's what I always tell people. People always tell me, I'll be like, man, I'm starting to get sick. I'll be like, you just beat it up, man. Yeah, man, just Just walk it off. You got COVID, walk it off, bro. (laughs) What's that? You're vomiting blood? It'll be fine. They'll be like, my arm's hurting. I'm like, well, you just need to hit it harder. (laughs) My arm's hurting. My left arm is numb. (laughs) Oh, it's fine. Beat it, make it start feeling again. Just beat it. Just punch it. Just beat it. Punch it, man. Just beat the, you know, beat the pain out of it. By the way, back in the day on YouTube, I had some, I had random people join the stream specifically to ask me if if the if I thought Michael Jackson was gay. And I remember the whole time hey, dude, sitting there. Do you think Michael Jackson is gay? I don't. I think he's dead. Uh, well, was gay. They were like, they were asking me if they thought I, he was gay when he was alive or something. And I remember like they asked me this question literally twice. They joined the stream randomly. They're just random ass questions, and they hopped out of the chat. And I remember being like, what the hell was that? And it was always like towards the end of the stream they do it. So they're clearly like sitting there perched at their keyboard, waiting to like troll in a really weird way that doesn't oh, make I love sense. Trolls. Because trolls come to me and then I ask them questions and they're like, no, I don't I don't like this guy because he's not responding to my question the right way. Yeah. I mean, like, I, I yeah. since I play games when like... When trolls ask you a question, they ask them a question. Like, oh, I don't ask them questions. I'll just be like, you know what? Yeah, you probably have a real good point there. I should really consider doing things different. And they're like, what the fuck? No, you're supposed to get angry. Like, well, yeah, it disarms you? people when you just agree <laughs> with them. Yeah. Yeah, it disarms you people completely if you just like, agree with their nonsense. Like and then just agree with everything. Like, they can just say the exact opposite of what you just yeah. said, and you'll be like, yeah, you know what? I agree with that. I too. did that in school all the time. Like, oh, people damn, would sit really? there, and they would find things to insult me with. They'd be like, you're gay. You're dumb. You're this. You're that. And I'd I be still like... I do that kind of stuff. I would like, be you know like, yeah, yeah, you're, you're right. right. Yeah, I am. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I'm you not know, gay I've, either, but I just say like, oh yeah, sure, man. You interested? You know, I've never thought about it, but you know, there's a good opportunity that I might actually. Be I, I, you know, it's whatever. funny. They would call me gay, and like, no diss to the gay people in the audience or any like people in that community. But, that used but to like, be an insult, though. yeah, that I mean, used to be an insult, that. and that, that well, that's why yeah. I'm saying it is I want them to understand the context. But like, like people. Yeah. People used to use it as an insult, especially when we were in school. Yeah. You know, I remember. I mean, the F slur that everyone's so freaked out about, that used to be a thing I was called every day. I mean, yeah, no, I understand. I mean, I, I 
we're really we're not that old yeah we still remember time when you know that was just kind of normal yeah but um yeah people would sit there and call me gay and insult me and i just agree with them and they wouldn't know what the hell to do with themselves like i'd have someone (laughs) i'd like turn it around on them they'd call me gay i'd be like why are you asking are you interested and they'd be like ew and they'd run away or some crap i'm like well what you see no i never see i don't know like when i was in school man i never had any problems like everyone <laughs> was super cool to me yeah i just had like the greatest like Is i this always a... tell people that be like man school was awesome and that's not a joke. These are like real. This okay, is like I was actually radio. asking. I was like, "Is that a meme like, or are you genuine?" Yeah, with like this? no. Like my school was so awesome. Like, cause I hear my wife talk about school, cause she's younger than me. Yeah. And she'll be like, "Oh, school, man, I hated school and stuff." And I'll be like, "Man, school was the best." Like I just did whatever the fuck I wanted. My mom's calling me. Let me answer this down. See, I had the same thing happen <laughs> earlier. My mom freaking butt dialed me on stream earlier. Uh, Shadow Wolf. Yeah. She like butt dialed me with FaceTime somehow. I don't know how you manage that even. Oi. But she she hey, got all shocked because I answered and it was just a black screen. And she's like, Nathan? And she picks it up out of her... Uh, I think she literally thought I was in the parking lot of her work with her. Because she was just leaving. She was yeah. like saying Nathan as if she heard me there. And then she picked it up and she's like, oh, okay. It was very interesting. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. I kind of love this game. um, This is a good chill game. Skyrim? Uh, This isn't Skyrim. This is uh, Elder Scrolls Blades. Like Uh, this. Oh, Blades, okay. Yeah, this is a really good chilled out sort of game. Actually, real quick, could you guys uh, entertain chat, you and Zach? I will be right back. I need to go. Uh, I need to go uh, get get something to drink real quick. Okay. Just ask the chat random well, questions about their buttholes. Well, right now uh, he's talking to his mom, so it's just me. Gotcha, gotcha. So, how was the game? Nobody was there. <laughs> I'm all alone. There's no one here beside me. My problems are gone. There's no one to entertain y'all. But you gotta have friends. <laughs> uh, I'm just crazy. Box. Smash box. Yeah, I got my knees. Do that. Or smash box and do the thing. Okay. Whee! Okay. On, I'm back on mic. Welcome back. In about My five butthole hours. has been experiencing molding and mild discomfort, says uh, Yo Yo. I feel you, man. I think we can all relate. I grab myself a water and some soda pop here. Sounds about right with me right now, so. Yep. <laughs> I'm trying to lay off soda because I've drank too many in the past couple days. And the thing is, if I drink too much soda, it starts to hurt my stomach real bad. 
Yeah, I know that too. That's why I'm like, oh boy, right now. So yeah. my okay. sleep schedule has been way off. So my stomach's regretting it. Yeah, I'm. Tr I hear a lot of people say that their stomach is like connected to their uh, s their sleep schedule. And that one I don't understand. Just personally, no, I'm just, like drinking so much cokes and such, right? Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Um, build up. Okay, I can't do that. Uh, That's what I'm saying. My stomach is wearing it. I've been yeah. drinking a lot more cokes and such, and I'm like, yeah, no. Yeah, like, once I turned, like, 21 or something, my body just started to reject soda completely. And I'm not sure why, because it's one of the hardest habits for me to break, because I still like soda a lot. Just honestly. Same. Just a weird thing. Is Zach still on the line? No, uh, he's talking to his mom. Okay, he's still on the phone. I was singing earlier. Yeah. There's, on There's no one here beside me. Oh, he was singing a uh, Shrek. Actually, I'm gonna switch games. This game is fun. I'm kind of kind of getting tired of it at this point. I've been playing for about three hours.